was Negroes that was running and controlling all of that. Got it. The, the original Scots, Negroes. The original Scots, the, the, the original Welsh, the original Norman, the original Vikings were Negroes also. They, they, they lie and they hide that and what well, they that did. That makes sense because of the oceans, you know, the water they was traveling, they was traveling and then, go, you know, then later on they, those other Vikings got on ships and went. Basically, so basically what they did was they started a campaign from the 14th century on up this way called iconoclasm which is the destruction of the images so there was there's images all throughout italy uh all throughout italy throughout france throughout germany oh especially all throughout russia of images oh, russia. where you see you see the lord you see the disciples all black men with afros and beards Yo, and, didn't, I, I think uh, the, the president Putin walked the streets with, with, with the black madonna right black they called yeah, the black madonna yeah, I saw that. yeah of course that Russia, that's that's well known in Russia, and what happened in Russia? Yeah, they a little more. Yeah, straight oh, up with okay. theirs. Yeah, yeah. You, know, the, you know they got their ways, but yeah, they got their a ways. More, they know who you are, and if they, they know, know exactly who, you are, who they we are. Respect you for that. They know, they know, they know exactly who we are. They yeah. know that, they know that the, exactly. the, the black people are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Get Jeremiah fourteen and two. The Google is up in five. It was up in Russia. They yeah, say they say uh, Negroes don't like the coat. He was a little oh, no, no, that's a, that's, that's, that's a all, that's a lie. Yeah. Matter of fact, uh, I, Ivan the Terrible, for instance, <laughs> Ivan the Terrible, um, Ivan the Terrible was a Negro, really? and, and, and the and the people that he was killing were them so-called Jews. Those people who call themselves Jews to this day, because back then they were known as the Khazar Empire. Well, I said it. it, it oh, Ivan, 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 the Ivan the Terrible was a Negro who was he was killing them bastards up there in Russia. They were, they, they, was, they were going to war with them up there in Russia. Also, I'm going to give you another one that's going to float your boat. You, you heard about it. Hollywood made a lot of movies about it. Dracula. Vlad Dracula is his name. The, his, uh, Dracula. Vlad Dracula. The, Hungari the Hungarians called him Vlad Tepish because he liked to impale people. He was, was at Vlad war. Vlad the Impaler? Vlad the Impaler. The was people in Romania, guy? the people in Romania, they built a they built a church in 1488, and on the church, the Vlad church, the Impaler, Vlad, Vlad the Impaler, Impaler, the one who used to put them on the stake, put them on the, the stake, the stick, yes, sir. yes, had them lined up all yeah. over. Yes, sir. He he was a Christian, right, and he was at war with Islam, because the Ottoman Empire, which were basically the people who call themselves Jews to this day, back during that time during the eighth century A.D., half of them converted to Judaism. The other half converted to Islam and became the Ottoman Empire. Vlad Tepes's people, the Romanians, which were our people that went out to Eastern Europe, were fighting at, in that war with the Turks. And Vlad was killing the Turks. He was impaling their ass and putting them on stakes. Now, when they finally caught up to him, because yo, I, I know the story, but yeah, they, yeah. You know, image wise, they don't right. tell, never know. No, they, they don't tell you. No, go ahead, go ahead. All right, then I got, then I got Jeremiah. Revelation 2 and 9. Oh, it says, you got it, right? It says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Right. The Lord said he knows our works, our tribulation, the hell that we catch it, and our poverty. We're in poverty. Them people over there, they own everything. When you need a loan, you got to go to them. If you want to get into Hollywood, they run Hollywood. The music industry, they're the ones that's, they're the record execs that's behind everything that goes on in the music industry. They're the ones that call the shots. You want, yeah, an apartment? you want to buy a house? You want to get an apartment? Mm -hmm. You're dealing with them. You want to buy some land? You're dealing with them. You want to get a good lawyer to get out some shit? You're dealing with them. <laughs> <laughs> right? It says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Why we're rich? Because the kingdom of heaven was promised to us. The kingdom of heaven was promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And to it went to Jacob's twelve sons, which are the Israelites. That's where we come from. Now don't say another word. Are you gonna tell me right now? Mm -hmm. He's gonna say there are some people who are not who they say they are. Okay, well let's, let's just read. Hey, there you go. There you go. You read, go read it before, huh? He probably right. read it before. Yeah. It says, and I know the blasphemy, which is a lie, filthy lie, of them which say they are Jews, but are and not are not. Right. But are of the synagogue of Satan. Satan. Right, that's right. They're, they're of the synagogue of Satan because they don't they don't believe in the Bible. That's just a hustle for them to get money. That's that's, that's, that's a hustle that's that they want to get money. That's the game. They don't believe in the Bible. They believe in something called the Talmud. Because Those if they are the first five five books. No, the first five books is known as the Torah. 
the first five books of Moses. The Tanakh is known as the Book of the Prophets. The Talmud, That's, you said? They, they believe in something called the Talmud. Well, in the Talmud, one of the things in the Talmud, it, they have a saying in there that um, it says in the Bible, if man lay with mankind as he lay with a woman, he has committed an abomination. Right. It don't say if, if man lay with boy. That's in the Talmud. Um, and, and you can look it up. Those, um, those uh, uh, rabbis, when they circumcise the children, they do it with their mouth, orally. Yeah. Orally. The yeah, foreskin, you know, you supposed to take a goes. nice and you cut the yeah. foreskin off. They use their mouth to do it. There's just some cases in New York, you know, they, it comes out and they hush it. They a lot of babies have died because they contracted Syphilis. herpes. Syphilis, herpes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's a common practice. Yeah. You, you heard in the news about uh, they just discovered uh, the tunnels. In Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, they've been yeah. digging out there. And, and, and in the tunnels, there was cribs down there, tunnels. high chairs, baby play pens, bloody mattresses, bloody, bloody mattresses. Mattress. You know about that. Hey, them, these motherfuckers, these, I'm gonna say, these motherfuckers are foul. They're foul. What, what they, basically what happened is, the reason why we're in the predicament that we are as a people, because we disobeyed the Heavenly Father. And the Lord told us, he gave us two, he gave us two ways to go. If, if you would have listened to observe and follow all my commandments this day, I'm gonna set you on high above all the nations. And I'm gonna bless, your children are gonna be blessed. The land where you are is going to be blessed. The fruit of thy womb is going to be blessed, everything. But if you disobey me, you're going to be cursed everywhere in the earth that you go. The fruit of your womb is going to be cursed. You're going to betroth a woman, and then another man is going to sleep with her. So did the opposite happen? And they had it, but they switched places? Because no, we they, messed up. We messed up. But, and that's how they was able to get on top. Because really, it's a punishment. The Lord is punishing us. That's why it happened. That's that's the answer that a lot of our people don't understand. The reason why, okay, a lot of black people be like, well, if God exists, why why did he let babies and this and that get killed during slavery? You wanna know why? Because our people were the same ones that said, when the Lord was on the cross, they said, give us Barabbas and crucify Yahweh Shai. They said, let his blood be on us and our children. And the Heavenly Father said, okay, I'm going, I'm gonna hold you to that. And our people, they don't understand that. I gotta change channel just for No, go ahead, no, go ahead. That's a question. That's a question. I know this is do y'all do this regularly here? Yeah. Cause I don't see y'all. I, I come here, you know, with him. That's Sundays? why you know this. He knows this area pretty well. <laughs> yeah. come, but I never saw you guys before. Now we are every now single Sunday. Last two, two last two Saturdays, Saturdays it's raining, so we wasn't here because of the rain, but yeah. okay. normally we come here or you know, we sometimes we go other spots, but and, 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 and what is the name? What is Israelites, man? Yeah, Hebrew Israelites. No title to it. You know how you know there's a the something in Christ. And uh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. IUIC, oh, you, you know, talking about? No, 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 no. No title so for GM, GMS. Great Millstone. Great GMS. Yeah, yeah great you know about GMS? Yeah, in Manhattan, New York. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, that's us. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. And the spirit got it where we got brothers worldwide. Yeah. Hey, well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. GMS. Yeah. 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 In other words, you, you, you got to know. Yeah. We ain't IUI. Well, yeah. we ain't wearing purple. So no, we ain't IUI. We wearing purple. So you yeah. know, so you know we ain't IUI. Well, no. Yeah. 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 They, they do wear purple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How, how, do you, how are you familiar just from? Uh, you, 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 got, you got a family member or something? I was. No. No. Nah. No. I, I can't talk to my family members how I think about stuff. I, I kind of see it different. Right. Okay. So, that's how it is, you know. You, yeah, I don't know. You, yeah. Your grandma, yeah. mom. You, you preach it to the choir, bro. run you to church all the time. Bro. Yeah. And I was the one that had a million questions. But they, they just wasn't right, clicking right. right. So don't I, question the pastor. They kind of threw me, threw right. me left. And then yeah. I just, yeah. You know, I let them do them, though. You know, I'm not yeah. a, I'm trying to force them. Right now, but. Yeah, see, un unfortunately, like, uh, we, we get that kickback too you know, from our family, family members, different people in the world. Because again, going going back to slavery, first of all, we lost our heritage, and, and that's the thing that a lot of our people don't take time to understand. Yeah, we were in Africa. We were there as refugees because prior to us being in Africa, we were in the land of Israel. And what happened is the first Roman Jewish War. When the first Roman Jewish War took place. We took off and we went in all directions. About a, about a million of us ran into Africa. But at the same time, there was already hundreds of thousands of Israelites living in Africa already anyway. Because going back prior to the Romans being in power, you had the Greek Empire. 
during the time of the Greek Empire, the Greeks took over Egypt. When they took over Egypt, it was uh, Ptolemy who sat as king of Egypt, white boy. He came to Jerusalem and took 120,000 Jews from Jerusalem, put them in slavery, and brought them into Egypt. They became known as the Alexandrian Jews, which were following after Greek customs. So all of our people, so when you read the New Testament, you read Paul went to Paul went to Athens, he went to Ephesus, he went to Galatia, Cappadocia, he went to uh, Troy, he went all throughout Asia Minor, he was going to those Greek Israelites, going back from the time of Ptolemy, when Ptolemy took them and brought them there, they learned the Greek language, they got into the army, they became Greeks, they started dressing like Greeks, wearing their hair like Greeks, they wasn't speaking Hebrew no more, they were speaking, uh, they were speaking uh, Greek, they wasn't speaking Hebrew no more. Paul was going back to recover them and bring them back. Yeah, I got Paul wasn't going uh, yeah, teaching the white people. He was going getting those, but they, were, they were known as Hellenized Israelites. Like us right now, we're Americanized. Back then, those Israelites that lived abroad were Hellenized. They were following Greek customs and keeping a Greek way of life. Ain't nothing new. Nothing new. So it's not, what's going on right now is nothing new. Same thing as back then. Can I ask you, is there... Is the, the recycling of what it's supposed to be? Oh, well, we're going to go into all oh, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stay, stay, stay. Um, second Ezra 6. I got to go on. I got two. But, uh, oh, yeah, six, yeah. but, but uh, it, what Mitch was saying, right? So those Israelites that pretty much fell away from the customs, right. which is part of the curses in Deuteronomy, right? The Lord said the, the, the Lord. The Lord about the curses. Deuteronomy 28 and 60. Well, cut I got this real quick. This is uh, well, read with what, what, what you got real All quick. Right. So this is Ephesians two and eleven. Because what I was what I was uh, what I was bringing out is when you go in the New Testament, it's teaching about the Gentiles, right? The churches and the Gentiles can be saved. They think of it as um, all nations. Mm -hmm. The Gentiles that Paul, like he was talking about, Bishop, that Paul came to speak to, those were Gentiles that became Hellenized, right? They fell away from being in Greek captivity and captivity under different nations. They started taking on their customs. And throughout generations, the children and the children, they, they lost, they forgot who they were. They're Israelites. They, they forgot were, they were they Israelites. Were Israelites. Right. So they became known as Gentiles, which means a foreigner or stranger to the most high. Also called aliens, right? Like here they have a term called like illegal alien. Right. Back then they would have been known as illegal alien. So the Jews that used to beef with the Lord, Yahweh Shai, they call him Jesus. The real name is Yahweh Shai. They beef with them because he came to save them, but they looked at them like they're, they're immigrants. Like they, they don't even follow the customs. Why are you trying to save them? Right? So I'm just building up. So this is Ephesians 2 and 11. And this is Paul speaking to those um Gentile, Israelite brothers that woke up. He said, remember that in times past, being Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. So the circumcision represented the Jews who kept the law of Sadducees commandments, right? So they call them heathens because they grew up as Greeks. The Greeks didn't believe in circumcision, right? So he said, at that time you were without Yahweh Shai being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of the promise, having no hope and without the Most High in the world. But now in Yahweh Shai, who sometimes were or far off, are made nigh by the blood of Yahweh Shai. So basically he was telling them that Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Christ, he died for you, now you can come back to him, right? To bring back, because remember, the, the, one of the major curses that happened to us as a people was we were scattered amongst right. different nations. And I got so, the perfect story right. before. Because we, we, had to, we had to be brought back. So in James, it says this. James, a servant of the Most High and of our Lord Yahweh Shai, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. Because we wasn't all dwelling in Jerusalem. We were scattered even back then, before the, before the Roman Jewish War even started. We were scattered all over the place back then. Just like now, just like right now. All of us, our roots go back to the South. But we don't all live in the South. You say scattered, though. Meaning yeah. they were living abroad. We didn't settle there and have spaces there. Where? Where we were just like nomads out there? No, well, saying? no. We lived amongst the other nations, right? right? We, lived, we lived amongst them. We married them and all that. So a lot to what happens. So basically, we, we were just yeah. unorganized? No, not that. But we were just brother, moving around. If like, you're in captivity under, like, we're in America, we're organized. Let me ask you something. What, what's your nationality? Like, what do you call yourself? 
American, right? right? So that's because you're in American captivity. So you call yourself American. So when we're in captivity, you basically fall under the jurisdiction and the customs of your captives. And you eventually forget who you are. So this is going back to recycling. We're out here to be part of that recycling, meaning bring our people back to who they are. Yep. So now you're not going to say I'm an American. You're going to say I'm a Judite or Levite, Simeonite, wherever you fall. That's the recycling. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not, well, it makes sense. And, but the American that I use is just a title just to keep right. the conversation going. Right. I don't want to sit there because I, I do know a little bit of my family heritage. Yeah, right. right. And it was, it was definitely here yeah. for a lot of people, you know? Yeah. Because I had my, my, you know, I was fortunate enough to have a grandmother who kind of taught me some things, you know? And she also told me about, you know, when she was in Virginia and stuff like that, what she had to do. And she told me about the family and... What part of Virginia? Richmond. Richmond, Richmond, Richmond. Put that something for you. So going back into the, the curses, because us being scattered amongst other nations, that's a part of the, that's, that's a curse. That's part of the curse. And what happened? And now, first when, of, when does it end? Though? We're coming we're to the time. We're coming into that right now. Right now. Like I said, brother, you hang around. Like, seem like a lot. Of, well, you know what? Well, the information is going up. Right, right, right. Awareness right. and people are speaking more. Now I know you guys have been up front for a long time. Cut. What I'm over saying, over half a century, people are starting to be aware and not afraid to talk about it in regular conversation. Well, that's, you know why? Because we're in that that's time. Good. That's right, really right. good. We're in that time now where all these prophecies have to take place. Yep. And a, a, a part of those prophecies is the chaos amongst the people. Yep. Yeah, it's going right. to be that, that, before it's gonna get see, next two, yeah, this that, year, that, well, the next year is going to be Well, this year is going to be the year to start. Crap. So it's going to be a lot of, now, you know. You know what yeah, I was shy said? He said when his word is published, then, then the end shall come. come. Then the end shall come. He's gonna put it, he says he's gonna pour his spirit on all spirit on all flesh, I meaning he's gonna have people just spill the beans. When you read Psalm 64, he says he's gonna cause whistleblowers to basically tell on the government, spill all the beans. This way, he can call people accountable. So look, you had the truth. I spoke, I sent my men out here, I had people speak it on the news, but you didn't you didn't choose your turn your life, so now I'm gonna destroy you. Well that's what I was gonna ask you. Right. At some point, it's gonna to have to be a big cleansing. Oh, oh no, that's that's what's coming. A complete cleanse. That's what's coming. Uh, I call it flushing the toilet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. The toilet gotta get flushed. Yeah. Well, and I'm gonna tell you this. It sounds that, harsh. that I know. I, you know, I, I have I have sons, and I told them, dude, this. You know, I didn't want to scare them. You know, they still young. Yeah. But the toilet gotta get flushed eventually. Oh yeah, it's gonna get. And a lot of our people just don't be get don't be out. don't be that shit pile inside. You know. That's all. I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, good. You was holding something? No, about the uh, like far Go and elaborate on what you was talking about. Now, I got to tell so you, my this, dog, you, yeah. you yeah. saw how he patiently sat here. That's spirit. Yeah, that's just spiritual. Animals, animals are spiritual. Animals, animals are spiritual. Hey, Shalom, brother. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't mind, I don't want to. Yeah, I know you guys are doing the thing. I got to walk. We got to no, 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 do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. The teaching goes on. Yeah, let me take care of it. I respected what he just did right there. Yeah. Oh, he's he didn't go yeah. And he, he was, was chilling, man. He was, yeah, yeah. Guard, he, just, he was laying he's, right there. He's chilling. impatient right there. So I want to do, uh, there's another dog I got to get him. All right. Doja, Doja. All right, brother. Yeah, yeah, see, he goes to the enemies. So this is our, I'm going to read my most recent tweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell him what. Tell him what. This is 2nd Ezra 2. I'm going to start at 1 and just go on down. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. I have brought this people out of bondage. Right, talking about who? The, the people right here, the nation of Israel. You so-called Negroes, you Latinos, Native Americans. And those of our brothers that are scattered abroad. All right? Um, so, the, yeah, Egypt. Egypt, Egypt yeah. which Egypt, the word Egypt means right. bondage. Um, so the Lord, that was, a ma that was a major captivity. And that was a major, uh, what do you call that, escape deliverance. That was that Egypt. Was deliverance. That was the deliverance, Egypt, because that is the, del the deliverance most talked about unto today. Today is 2024. That is the most historic event, uh, or uh, what, do you, what do you say? What's the word you use? Deliverance. The most historic event in history. In, in history. Yeah. The flood, you know, but that was the most historic deliverance in history. Right. You know, any story was that. It's, it's in all the records of all the other nations. They all got records of it, just like the flood. And it's, it's still talked about. That's that's something that's going to be spoken about throughout ages. Yeah, that's so right. Now, I don't know if you read in the other Jeremiah 
16? 16, 14? Okay, that's where you went. Oh, okay. I didn't know. No, I was in the pocket for But that, now, now that lets you know how great this destruction is going to be. Because uh, <laughs> I, I don't, that's been throughout thousands of years, people still mm -hmm. speak about the, the flood, <laughs> speak, speak about the deliverance, the greatest deliverance out of Egypt, yep. to the point where you got people lying, trying to say, yeah, that was us. They, they were trying to cleave and hold on to that like that's their friends. Yeah, that's so and it's not. It's not. But now, the thing is, the Mosai is really going to get busy, even more busy than he did then. So, man, shit. Right. <laughs> That's right. It's Jeremiah 16 and 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord. Right, and that's future tense. That hasn't been, that hasn't been fulfilled yet. It didn't happen yet. This didn't happen yet. So all you, you clowns out there talk about the Old Testament, the, the finished the prophecy, the Bible. Is, you a goddamn fool, man. All right? If I spirit just have me look this up, if, uh, the top ten, the Ten Commandments is one of the most popular movies ever made ever in history. Yeah. A movie, if oh, yeah. Star Wars, if you know all that shit. Wow. When, by the every year as kids, you know I grew up with a bunch of holy rollers around Easter. Around Easter, they played around the Easter. But you can hear a pin drop in the house. Every television, right, yep. what was on Channel Seven or the fuck Channel showed it. Watch it and then it was quiet in the house. Yeah. Grandpa, grandma, everybody watching it. Watching right. Charlton Heston. Back in the back in them days. Funky huh? ass. Yeah. yeah. It had us believing that, that those are the Israelites. Oh, you know, you know, I was believing that. But but the part with the Red Sea, that spectacular. Red, spectacular. Even with the technology back then, that shit looked bad as hell. Yeah. 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 Matter of fact, it was uh the uh, the Ten Commandments and the greatest lie ever told. It's, it's called the greatest story ever told, but it's the greatest lie ever told. <laughs> That, that uh, the Lord was, was a white man. That's right. Played by Max von Sydow. That's another one. Th those two movies, boy, ran concurrent. I remember. Around around uh, Easter, they ran the Ten Commandments and the greatest lie I ever told. And on uh, Christmas, I think Christmas too, they showed them. They were showing too, you know? But it's all false. And that's the way they indoctrinated our people to thinking that y'all ain't nothing, man. But we're everything. And that's why the Lord has his prophets out here to gather the elect out of the people to come back to Yahweh's job. That's our job. Can we understand that the majority of our people ain't gonna hear this? They look in the, they, they, right now this place is deteriorated, man. Mm -hmm. It ain't deteriorating, it's deteriorated. Mm -hmm. And you still got niggas that trust in this place. They'll come against us veniently for right. the so-called white men. Why do you have so much hate in your heart? You, 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 you get blaming the white men for everything. Like a wood. In other words, you got Jake's now that make it like Esau so innocent. Right. We're the ones with the fucking proverbs. Yep. We're the fucking racists. That's that. That's that. That's that old. That's that reverse Jedi mind trick. Oh, no, no, no. What, what, what it is? What it is is called. It's called Stockholm syndrome. syndrome. Yeah, Stockholm yeah, syndrome. Yeah, you yeah, niggas that's have right. Stockholm syndrome. Bad. But you love your captor so goddamn much that you look at him as the good guy, and anyone who speaks against the wickedness of this devil is the bad guy. But this devil has done done wickedness, and he's gonna pay, and he continues to do more wickedness. Yeah, hey, you still got? I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm not, I gotta say this because you still got two stupid, dumbass niggas getting ready to fix your vote. Because you, how, how the hell is Biden and Trump still the top candidates, right? That's a joke. So you gonna tell me that this ain't a goddamn joke, man? But you niggas are getting ready to sit there. You sitting there hanging out with what, come a, come a lot Harris, right? Come a lot. That, that, yeah, the cum brow hair, hair is whatever the fuck the, that thing the name is. I don't even know if that's a woman. The Ugandan hair. The Ugandan, yeah, the Ugandan giant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sitting up there, y'all, yeah, 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 Democrats, this, that, and the third. That they don't fuck you. They constantly fuck you niggas over. And they sat there, none of the body of the ministry. Wait a minute, a lot of you niggas died. That C-19 happened under his, so called under his watch. That's right. Right? A lot of you niggas got wiped off, man. But you don't learn. So like the, the Bishop Todd said, well, hold up, we got to get Jeremiah the second chapter, right? Okay. Oh, okay. oh God, it's the spirit, man. This is Je uh, Jeremiah 2 and 33. He said, why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Right. And that's Jake, man. Because why? Here it is, the most high and gave you everything that you needed. But you you ain't, that's like a, a hoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Orange Juice Jones, remember how he, oh, yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That bitch had everything, man. Yeah. But she still wanted to go sleep with another goddamn nigga that, that ain't have nothing, man. A hush puppy clown, right? Mm -hmm. So y'all want these hush puppy clowns, man. Y'all want to go be, be uh, African and comedic. <coughs> you want to be Islamic. Oh, this morning I met a nigga in my building. Oh, I'm a Sunni Muslim. I said, you dumb nigga. Yeah, Sunni, come on. <laughs> in, in, in 2024, <laughs> are you out of your goddamn mind, man? But that shows you the, the range of nuts. 
amongst our people. So the Lord said, watch him. Uh, uh, watch him as town. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, and, and, and man, look, man, y'all gonna be ashamed too. All right? I mean, we laugh. It's a joke. The most I said he gonna laugh at you, niggas. So y'all don't know the Heavenly Father. That's why things are happening and the more shit going to happen to you that you ain't going to understand because you don't know the Heavenly Father. Because you act, you too busy trying to, oh, you are, I'm an African. I'm, Af I'm Afro-American. I'm, I'm black. I'm blickety blickety black. You simple-minded niggas, man. Asiatic. Proverbs 1 and 21. How long these simple ones? When you love simplicity. When you love simplicity, man. Go ahead. All right. Uh, it says, uh, why trimmest thou thy, thou thy way to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. Wait, that's that's Jake. Jake getting some wicked wicked shit. They say, look, come here, devil. Come here, Esau. I mean, we know you the devil and everything. You did all this rape, robbing, and murdering. But did you ever try this level of wickedness? Have you? Okay, you like homosexuals, but have you ever tried to be this type of? Do you? You know what I'm saying? That's Jake right. teach Esau about witchcraft. Remember when e Esau, in all the wickedness that Esau did, he stole from other nations, but he stole from wicked Jakes too. That's right. Because when you go, case in point, the Roman Catholic Church, right? Who originally established that? The black popes of Rome. The black popes of Rome. Now you got niggas talking about the great pope, the old side, this, that. Yeah. Yeah. But they all got it back from niggas. That's right. Right? They got it from niggas, even though Esau, you know, leads Jake into hell, but Jake takes it, takes it over. Then that's Jeremiah the fifth chapter. That's right. Among my people are found what? Wicked men. Wicked man. men. They're more, more wicked than the wicked. That's right. So now he, Jake doing w wickedness, they over there doing witchcraft into Freemasonry and all this and that. <coughs> and they showing these other nations, because why? All these other nations follow the, the trends of Jake. Jake wear their pants backwards, they're going to be in China. Right? They, they, they had a, a thing, right, saying, look what hip hop did to Korea. Right? And they got the niggas doing all this pop locking and dressed up like robot, hip hop robots and shit like that, you know? Because why? That's the we're, which, of the we're the sword of the earth. Even in our worst state, we're still the trendsetters. We're still the best at everything. And that's a goddamn shame. But the Lord's asking, what the fuck is wrong with y'all, man? Why are, you, why are you seeking after these other nations, man? Go ahead. Uh, and, and, and then when you read up above it, it says, it's Jacob, a home-born slave. All right? Right, the 17th. Matter of fact, you still did. Okay. Which one? Homeboy slave. Yeah. But you still there. You still got that chapter. Uh, uh, Jeremiah two fourteen. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Right. Stockholm syndrome. That's why the Lord is asking the question. Because now the Mosad. A lot of y'all talk about kings. They had a movie, right? When we were kings, right? So what the fuck happened? Why is he spoiled? Right. Why? Why are you robbed? And y'all talking about Mensa, oh, we making a movie about Mensa, 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 however you say the dude's yeah. name, right? Yeah. The richest man was a, 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 well, what the fuck happened to him then? Where is his riches at? Where is it the grand, great, great, great grandson of Mensa, Mensa? Yeah. Where, where, where's uh, Tyrone Mensa? Hey, that's why, that's why our, that's why our people oh, are, man. that's why our people are the biggest laughing stock on the planet Earth. Because we, we tell you all, you know, you talk all that Mensa shit and all yeah. this and that. And every, every, every ghetto, Uchi is a queen. I'm a queen. Right. The nations are looking at us. Our, and, 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 go back to the curses. Like they laugh at you. Hey, you're a queen. Yeah, you live in the hood. You got nothing. You got right. a baby by 55 different men. You know, you're out of fucking way. What are you a queen? What kind of queen? You're not even a bee. You're not even a queen bee. You know. <laughs> and then you you saying shit you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Like the apostle Ronald broke it down. He went into the word queen. It really means a, 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 a slut, a, a prostitute. Slut, a prostitute yeah. You know, the queen of the streets, the a, a, a bitch that's out there selling her, her, her box out there in the street. Yeah, it's called Queenie. Yeah, yeah, qu yeah Queenie. So y'all talk about, you talk about your yeah, queen, a queen of what? Hey, a queen knows who her baby daddy is. <laughs> All right. And see, and, and that's just bullshit because here it is, y'all y'all so, so out of pocket. Y'all don't fucking look, y'all look like shit. Right? Y'all weigh about 780 pounds. You got all type of fucking weaves and hair extensions. Yarn. Fake this, fake that, but you're a fucking queen. You're to be respected. You're to be taken serious. That's, so that's why the Lord is speaking about it. And then in, in that chapter, he said, how did you become a bunch of goddamn degenerates? See, the most high is cursing you out, man. 
Y'all, I mean, the Lord's using us. Y'all get offended, but the Most High got us cursing you out because you ain't waking up. Y'all still into this Babylonian bullshit. Even more so now. Even more so. A lot of y'all gonna be chasing a goddamn bunny. Right? Because y'all line up the church. Church gonna make a lot of money that day, right? Yeah, in the fourth day. They gonna make all kind of money, man. I mean, I ain't never really went to church, but I just see niggas all, you know, they the Sunday's best. Yeah. A, a fucking, what, they have bunnies inside the fucking people dressed up like No, 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 in the church they had a little kiss of um, um, Easter. Easter mask? Yeah. They had that bullshit, but then for the kids, they had a little, what do you call it, the, the Easter egg hunt. Easter egg hunt in the back. Right, and, right. And a big thing of making a big bunny, and you break the chocolate. I mean, we're kids, so we ain't know no better. We're right, right. for that candy. That's how they induct you. That's how they induct you. That's devil worship. Yeah. Bunnies don't lay eggs. Right. They're mammals. <laughs> a rabbit is ma They're mammals. I mean, All right. You know, as a kid, uh, you know, okay, I was a kid, but then he's 30, 40, 50 years old, still eats eggs. Yeah, he's saying, so about it's for the kids. They ain't for the kids. Yeah, man. a lot of you grown. You, still, you still believe in fucking bunnies laying eggs. And man. a lot of you grown ass black grown men. niggas, man. A lot of you grown. And, and in their church suits and shit, huh? Going no. around hiding eggs. Yeah. So a lot of guys sit on the couch eating a Cadbury, on a Cadbury, yeah, the Cadbury, yeah, yeah. 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 But a lot of you, yeah, a lot of you Negro hey, men and you Latino men, a lot of y'all gonna be fucking hey. dressed up in and y'all ain't, ain't angry at that man. Uh, that doesn't make you pissed off. That the, 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 man, listen, he saw the most side races double up, man, and he did a number on niggas. He got niggas actually worshiping this shit, man. He, he hoodwinked, bamboozled. He had you sitting in a, a goddamn pissy ass project. With a, with a funky ass incinerator, got you thinking that it's, it's fat white man's gonna come down a chimney that you don't even got in your house and gonna leave a bunch of gifts for you. Just make sure you leave them some milk and cookies. Yeah, and you know what? Pedophiles buy, buy Santa suits and, and go inside oh, malls with yeah. gifts. And, and, and Imagine Jake, that. Jake could go stand in line and plant they, 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 they son on this pedophile's yeah. lap. Hey, um, you, know, you know, he getting wood with your son on his lap. So you oh, taking pictures like a and, jackass. And there's an old, there's, there's old like rap, there's old rap song called Millie Ooh. Pull a Pistol on Santa. I know, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Now, but since you said that, right, you said Santa Claus, right? <laughs> but good old Saint Nick, well, it behooves you to know that good old Saint Nick is a Negro. Good old Saint Nick was one of the members of the Council of Nicaea. Constantine the Great, 324 AD. He was one of the men that was present there at the council. But this is a picture of good old Saint Nick. Right, right here. To go closer because the sun. Okay, let me, yeah, let me go. Let me go up closer. The sun. Here's Saint Nicholas right here. Saint Nicholas, the gift giver. If you can see it, you might not be able to see it because of the sun. Well, not Google it. You can hey, Google you it. Google it yourself. Google it. So man. I, I'm still holding Jeremiah. Yes, sir. Feet. Let's go. So Jeremiah 16 and 14. Therefore, behold. The days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Right, and that's what the brothers was just speaking about. They are speaking about the movie they show yearly with Charlton Heston and all that, the Ten Commandments. So is there any other event, any, uh, either the high word, a glomactic event? <laughs> is there any other glomactic event that could trump the, uh, the deliverance of Egypt? Is, is there any great exodus out of Samaria? The, 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 uh, you know what I'm saying? Out of North Korea. Out of North Korea. Did, 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 uh, Horus delivered the, 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 the did he deliver um, Shaka or most out of a, a molten lava? Is there any type of stories out there that can uh, compare to what the... No! There's nothing that you can think of that can compare to the deliverance of the, the children of Israel from the land of Egypt. You want to say something? Oh, okay. Right. So, so that's why the Lord said, look, it's not gonna be, that's the greatest delivery ever. Like the brother said, it's still the top selling, a uh, uh, top watched movie. So now the Lord's saying it's gonna be a, 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 a event, a greater event, a climactic event. Go ahead. Verse 15, <clears throat> but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. That brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Haven't we been telling you that we're the real Israelites, man? The 12 tribes of Israel? Why do you think they were known as the lost sheep of the house of Israel? That's right. Because you don't know that you're the Israelites. So the Lord said what? This deliverance is going to trump all the deliverance you heard of, the old deliverance of Egypt. And you can see why. Because this is a this is known as Egypt again, right? Yes, the scriptures yes. tell you that. This is spiritually called Egypt. Inside and this is inside of.
And this is it's a greater, it's way more sl slavery going on. It's a it's Babylon the Great, it's a bigger, it's on a whole nother level, man. Now you want you talking about that fire, you're talking about the chariots, the nuclear missile, you're talking about a lot of shit that's about to go down, which is prophecy, man. Real quick. Yes, sir. Now this links up blatant or indirectly, however you look at it, <laughs> with uh revelation when it talks about the new name. Because we always carry down a new yep. name means his name's gonna be recycled. Yeah, Meaning yep. the world is just gonna be refreshed. Yeah. Right. So when this remember that old deliverance of Egypt, the whole world uh knew, yeah. you know, who yeah, how it was, a power to children of Israel. And and a couple times in scriptures they always say, remember the you know, that power that delivered them out of Egypt. And his name's gonna be refreshed again with his new deliverance. It's gonna, gonna make his name new again. So that's what it means by the new name. That's heaven. Yeah, because y'all forgot about the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that's why y'all don't pay no reverence. That's why y'all sit out here and do all kind of wickedness. You get tattoos, you get pork, you commit adultery, you worshiping other fucking gods, idols, being the nastiest, homosexuals, and lesbians, and dykes, and everything that you can be. Because why? You forgot the Mosai. You forgot his name. You forgot how terrible the Mosai is, man. See, the Bible tells you about that. That's why you gotta have a healthy fear of the Lord. You see? Go ahead. Go ahead. It says, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the land whither he had driven them. Going back to the Israelite foreigners, the ones of us that were scattered abroad, like we, like we opened up the show on. Mainly yeah. here, the land of the north. Land of the north. That's why I mentioned, that. when you read, read it, it focused on the land of the north. North, north right? The great deliverance that happened right here yeah. in North America. This is, a majority, this is where the majority of the, 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 yeah, the slaves came right here, where Jake is at. And this is the number where all Jays come to, right? From different lands. You know, my parents, his brothers, parents, his brother, they all fled here. To Babylon you know, the Great. To Babylon the Great. But then uh, you still got Israelites that are scattered among the other nations. Yeah. Well. So, right. so it says, But the Lord liveth that brought, it, brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, North America, and from all the lands whither he had driven them and will bring them again into their land that I gave whoa, unto whoa, 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 hold up, hold yeah. up, pull up, pull up. Pull up let's back up on, let's back up on. Right, he said we'll bring them to where? It says, and from all the lands whither he had driven them. All the lands where he driven us, meaning what? Uh, like we've been telling you about the Israelite foreigners, man. So when you hear about the Gentiles that could be saved, that y'all think it's not the other nations, nope. it's speaking about the Israelites that are amongst the other nations. Right. Those that are of the diaspora, see, you gotta, you gotta have the full truth. You gotta have the hundred percent truth. All right, because you can't just say if you don't know that you're Israel. No, you got Israelites all over the world, man, and they don't all look the same. Some of them look like Chinese. Some of them look like Japanese. Some of them look North Korean. Some East of them look Indian. East Indian, right? And that's why you see a lot of them that have the same spirit as Jake. All right, it ain't just a phenomenon like a like an Eminem per se. All right, and, and a that, he's a Jake. He, He's probably an Irish or whatever. The Irish, a lot of the Irish go back to the so-called blacks, which are the Israelites, man. Yep. But the Lord said he was scattered, where he driven us, where he scattered us, okay, throughout the ages. And that's why our people are mingled with these other nations and look like them. Right, go ahead. And I will bring them again into their land. And the Lord said I will bring them again. Wait a minute, I thought the Israelites were already in their land. Yeah, what, what happened? <laughs> what, what's going well, yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a BB. Yeah, right. BB. Well, at BB, what, what's going on over there? What's going on? Oh, there? speaking of him, yeah, yeah. He, he, Mr. BB. You see what's going on with this dude, Chuck, Chuck E. Cheese Schumer? Oh, Schumer. Because he's like the biggest the uh, advocate, uh, small hat yeah, in, yeah, in yeah, politics yeah. that everybody respects. Right, right. They yeah, cursed yeah, him yeah. out yeah. on the radio. They had a fun show because he came up and said, "Show him." But you know, the bankers is doing this and cause this chaos. He said, "Look, BB, I, th I think you should get out of office right now." Right? How dare you say such a thing? Right. Yeah. And see, and, and that's the thing. The Lord said that, that uh, yeah, Satan yeah, be divided against Satan. Because Satan, now, yeah, exactly. Which we know that, and that's probably a clone of, of, of Biden, Joe Biden. We yeah, know that that's, a couple of that's probably a, a stunt double or whatever. Yeah, charged, but right. now they got him sitting up there uh, going at it with BB or whatever the case is. And remember, BB was about to be ousted right before all this happened. That's right. You see? So that's, that's all spiritual, man. Yep. You know? Go ahead. It says, it, it says, um, and from all the lands whither he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land. So that's speaking about us, right? Because we're not in our land. Nope. If you got any sense, you know we're still in the land of our captivity, where our forefathers were brought here as slaves. 
You see? So the Lord said he's going to bring us again into the into to, to our own land. Out of this captive uh, out of this land of captivity. That's now, right. Now I, I got a little segment for oh, you. Oh yeah. Because like you read, right? You read about um our captivity, right? And like how you were saying, back then, we were scattered among the nations back then. We're talking we're, we're going, let's go, let's go back two thousand yeah. years ago. Yeah. We were scattered among the nations back then. Now I got something in the Josephus. Okay, now check this out. This is uh this is uh, uh, Antiquity of the Jews, Book 12, Chapter 3, Paragraph 1. Now check this out. The Jews also obtained honors from the kings of Asia when they became their auxiliaries. For Seleucus Nicator made them citizens in those cities which he built in Asia and in the lower Syria and in the metropolis itself, Antioch and gave them privileges equal to those of the Macedonians and Greeks. Don't, don't the scripture say dwelling at Antioch, there were certain prophets such as Barnabas and Simeon that was called nigger? That's right. It says that in Acts 13 and one, yeah. there, was, there was at the church at Antioch, such prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called nigger, yeah. right? We was all up in Asia Minor. Yeah. That's it right there. But the now, kings of Asia had honored us and, and we were auxiliaries in their army. Yeah. But now when they said they yeah. gave them privileges, yeah. yep. I mean, is that, that's when they allowed them to worship after the Greek fat. What privileges were they talking well, about? Well, they were given privileges as Greek citizens. They had high status. They had status. Like yeah, yeah. They were given citizens. They were given now, now, citizenship. Now, like now, what, citizenship in America. What, what's another word for uh, privilege? <laughs> license. License. Yeah. Yeah, license. Yeah. Right, so they, they were licensed, you know, yep. just like here, you can see when you, if you are a king, like people sit there and talk about they're free and this and that, a, a sovereign doesn't need no license, he doesn't need no privilege, you know, see when people forget to realize that we're still slaves here, man, we're kind, but they give us, they give certain people different privileges or license to operate your motor vehicle, a license to, to carry a firearm, start a business, like, license to start a business, all right? So that's what that is. But again, it's the same situation. And that's a good point, showing you that our people were in these, these regions. So that's why you had the- uh, oh, went to all those different places. All those, where those different churches were established. To the strangers at Rome, yep. right? To the saints. And that's why in the when you read in the epistles and everything, they specify uh, it's the saints, you know? The strangers yep. at Rome, it don't just say the actual nations. Okay, and see, a lot of y'all forget that the Bible was written in a codified text. It was, it's, it's a mystery. It wasn't for everybody to understand. Okay, and that's why people still don't got to understand. All right, but go ahead. The understanding was, was given to the prophets. It says it wasn't given to the common people. That's right. And I will bring them again into their land, which is Jerusalem, Palestine. That's our land that I gave unto their fathers. All right. Yeah, something. going back yeah. to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, First right. of all, Abraham, and you got a lot of these devils, Abraham, Shikam, Guber, and all this and that. Yeah. Right? First, Ibrahim, let me tell you something. Let me tell you, so, you so called Jews, let me tell you, you Arabic bastards, Abraham was none of y'all. Right. All right? He's known as Abram the Hebrew. Abraham was a so called black man. Okay, Abraham, his son Isaac, which is the Lord in the reincarnation. Okay, and Jacob. Who is the progenitor of the 12 tribes? That's not your people, man. And Isaac shall I see be called. And not nobody else. Yeah, it's not Ishmael. Ishmael, you, you know, y'all can walk off the, the goddamn cliff, okay? Y'all can walk, you, which is, oh, troglodyte asses, man. Most I ain't dealing with you fucking Ishmaelites, man. And you, you goddamn Elamites. Yeah. You got El Elamites sitting there thinking that y'all so holy. That's why when the Lord comes in that day, well, wait a minute. In Revelation 19, it says that Yahweh Shai had many crowns upon his head. Because yep. he's going to put all you goddamn heathens down, man. True. You know? And, and, and don't and, and you damn simple-minded West Indians talking about Rastafari. And Sel you goddamn, Selassie ain't nothing but a goddamn heathen, man. Yeah, he's, he's a, yeah, he's an Elamite. And Selassie ain't giving, and Selassie was soft anyway, man. Yeah, soft man. body. Soft You're a body. pussy. Soft body. All right. <laughs> Why he went up under the skirt of the queen of yeah, Italy's man. ass? Literally, literally, yeah. literally. Mussolini was about to. Yeah, Slossy was scared that. of Mussolini. That's right. That's right. Yeah, what y'all talk about? Mussolini. Ain't no conquering nothing out of that nigga. Ain't yeah. the conquering lion. Yeah. You see, and that's all people. They give all these other nations. That's what the description you read earlier. Why trust thou by ways to, to seek love, meaning amongst these other nations, man. Haley Selassie is not our our folk. 
Go ahead. Excuse me, Coach Black. I got something. Just real quick, back up about the, us going back to our land. This is uh, Amos 9, and uh, I'll, you know, I'll start at 10, points 11. It says, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil day shall not prevent, shall not overtake nor prevent us. And uh, we got to get verse 10 and Amos 9 all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Right, which is the two thirds. What's, what's a sin? Was that first John? Um, Three, transgression of the law, breaking of the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. That's, a, that's how you sin. And the only people that can be sinning are the Israelites because they were the only nation on the planet Earth that were given the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. So who are the people of the Lord? As we've always been saying, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. It's that all the sinners of our people shall die by the sword. That say what? That say, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent them. Right, because what? They come against the men, the, the men of the, the prophets of the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. I said, man, y'all talking garbage. What y'all say, like missiles? That ain't gonna happen, man. What, the white man going down? Man, I, like, get off of that, man. You, you guys are just full of hate. The so-called white man is not full of hate. We are. Yeah. You know, you guys are just full of hate, man. The evil days ain't gonna prevent us. And, and we will strive. You got more and more niggas talking about like they some experts on making money. All of a sudden, niggas make food. They the, we on the bottom, but we the experts on making money. You know what I mean? All you clowns out there. Yeah. But you say that all oh, that all that shit y'all talking ain't gonna happen. They ain't gonna prevent us from establishing ourselves with Whitey. Here it is, Whitey don't want you around them. They come with See, what you fail to realize, it come with something called the New World Order, and you ain't a part of it. Not, well, well that's, that's why they're getting rid of, like, a lot of these niggas. Here it is, you got a, a pissy Diddy, right? <laughs> here it is, he, he, was a, he was a billionaire, right? That, that status, niggas told me, yeah. Hey, everybody wants to try black, to, black to get excellence. Yeah. Black, yeah. Billy, what happened to all that black excellence, man? Yeah. You see? It's when you so, plucked off. Right, exactly, man. And, and, and see, and the thing is, that was a goddamn trap from the devil. You see? And Esau don't need you niggas no more. That's why he, he fucking exposing you. You know, he had this nigga, he, he was a billionaire or whatever. He thought he was untouchable. And he did all kind of great wickedness. And like all these other celebrities and everything, they got all the the, the, uh, the same and rituals they put you through. They got all the dirt on you, man. All the people you might have killed or whatever to get. So at what cost, man? Huh? A nigga's not happy. He might be trying to dance and do his ditty bop shit. That nigga know his days are numbered, man. Yeah. Right? His days are numbered, man. And all the rest of the sellouts of our people, man. Because why? The scriptures say the love of money is the root of all evil. Not that money, because money's a defense. The scriptures tell you that. The but love. the love, meaning that what? The you, things you'll do for The it. things you'll do. You won't, you'll, you won't stop. All right? You'll sacrifice your, your kids. That's why you got uh, Will Smith and all these other celebrities. They, 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 these Hollywood kids are all fucked up in the head, man. Or some of them, their kids went missing. Straight yeah, up, straight yeah. Up, disappeared. Yeah. You know what happened to them? That's true. Yeah, like uh, John, I think John, or, or they end up at a Bohemian Grove, you know? Yeah, sacrifice, man. Yeah. So okay, this, oh, okay, which one? Okay, go ahead. Uh, first, first Timothy, no, don't read that. First Timothy 6 and 10, it says, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after. Right, who was that? Was that the OJs that made that song? It's smiling. No, uh, money, money, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Money. Yep. Got to have it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Hey, and they was breaking it down. That song, man, and Jake could relate to that song. Yeah. Because yeah. a nigga will do anything for the love of money. He'll sell his brother out, he'll, he'll stab you in the back. All right? So, you know, and the thing is, the scriptures speak about deceitful riches, man, yeah. right? Because the money that you have here, one, it's not really even money. A lot of y'all still haven't woken up to the fact of that. That's why y'all don't understand what's happening, how, how things transfer, the currency and everything transfer. Now everything's being what? Digitalized, man. Yeah, Look, suck you in. The suck you in, leading to the what? The MOTB. All right, which they actually they they speaking all about it, man. That's right. I, I wanted. I don't know if y'all both seen it, but they've been saying it. But now they got this, which um brothers brought it out before. But they got a pill that you can take, and it'll give you the the RFID. It'll make a tattoo appear on your arm or on your hand. All right. They got they got all these things out here already. So the thing is, you Jakes, because you're all in love with money, you're gonna be willing to take the MOTB. 
getting rid of the, for the love of money, for the getting rid of the FRNs. And your thing is not, nah, we, we gotta keep this flow going. Yeah, we gotta eat. Whatever y'all got, I'm we taking got, it. You yeah. know, we got babies to feed. That's right. We yeah. got so y'all gonna do whatever. Y'all gonna bend over, you gonna wear the dress, and yes, it makes a difference about a goddamn man wearing the dress. What the fuck do you niggas mean it's not a big deal? Well, That's how far gone you are, man. And you wonder why the most I gonna kill you niggas, man. That's right. You niggas talking about in the Bible tell you clearly, man. A man should not wear that which pertains to a woman. Yeah. But just say, oh, if he wear a dress, that's his prerogative, man. Okay, so when the most side sit there and let those missiles come and fly and burn your whole goddamn household, that's the most side's prerogative, man. Yeah. Let's see who will is gonna be done. Yeah. A simple minded nigga that, that crossed over the, the, the game riches in Hollywood, or the Heavenly Father, the one that created everything, man, yes, and told you not to do that wickedness, man. Okay. 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 This is Matthew 6 and 24, go on what he's saying. Because you're going to have to pick one or the other. Uh, if you don't have trust in the most high, don't. Look, let me just read this. Matthew 6 and 24. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other. Um, hey, hey, the, hey, either you're gonna hate, either you're gonna hate the Lord or you're gonna love him. You're gonna love him. Yeah. It ain't no in-between. See, Jake thinks it's an in-between. You know, as long as I get as long as I, I stop for a minute and give before the Lord a few hallelujahs, then right. he still love me. Right. I'm still one of his. You know? Jake yeah. thinks it's a, mi a middle ground. Yep. You know, but the, hey, this truth takes sacrifice. It takes uh dedication, it takes discipline, you know. It's not just so you know, hey, well, let me remember to say hallelujah, thank God, and that's it. Well, you no, yeah, that's, that's right, right man. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. You ain't speaking no more facts. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's right. right. Facts. It says, um, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot right. and, and that's why now they don't, here it is, they, they don't, we teaching the truth, but they don't want to hear it. That's why they sit there, they're comfortable in that wickedness, because why? They said to hell with the most side, man. They been put the Lord on the shelf, and a lot of most of these niggas know what they doing is wickedness. Yeah. When they doing these behind the scenes, uh, under the table deals, bending over and all that other conscious stuff, all these choice. rituals, yeah, they they making a conscious choice. Yeah, fuck that, I want that bad. Yeah. All they seen is the money, that money. Yeah. All right, so guess what? The scripture is true because you can't play both sides of the fence. Yeah. You can't say no, no, I'm just doing this for the kids and this and that. But I love uh, the God they call him, right? Yeah. Come on, man, give me a fucking break, man. But that's why the Lord is bringing death, destruction, man. More celebrities gonna drop dead. More of these so-called athletes, people that uh, people that are jabbed up, they still dropping dead suddenly. Right. Because why? You 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 love the white man more than the most high. You can't serve two masters, man. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm just thinking about um, that crazy bitch on Wendy Williams. Look at her steak. Oh right man. Now. Oh, oh, the, man. Lord, the Lord could easily kill her, but he got her. He got her on. That's that's worse. That's that's leggy worse. Peggy. Yeah, got her he, eyes all bulging out of her head. Humili yeah, oh, how you say? Humiliating. But not too much long ago, she used to talk all yep. this shit. Talk all this shit. Yep. Now the, the Lord just touched her, man. Yeah. yeah. And there's more to come. You know. That's how the Most High does a shame ritual. That's right. Right. Yeah, yeah. The real shame. You're gonna the be the shame ritual. That yeah. you went against the Most High, man. You see, yeah. and, and, and that world can see they they, they they it's smoke and mirrors, man. It's always been smoke and mirrors. Hollywood has never been a real place, man. Okay, that's why. You, you see people, if they're truthfully, they'll tell you they've seen shit they never thought they'd see. Yeah. All these people that never really made it or whatever because they wasn't willing to do what they the Hollywood execs wanted them to do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what it was. That's right. You see? And look, man, I won't be surprised if every allegation is true about Diddy. You got people sitting up there still, and, and, and the ones that stand by him, you know, you, you got my man, who's his name, Choke No Joke. This is a Jake, you know, he be doing his videos or whatever. I guess he was, he, I, he said he ain't, he denied the Illuminati, so he's always exposing them, but he bring up a good point. All the people that that, that are sitting there being quiet is because they are part of it. Yeah. They, they all got some shit on them, you yeah, see? Yeah. And I, be, I believe that to be true, because that's how they get down. That's that world. That's that world. Yeah, so just finish it off, it says, you cannot serve the Most High and Mammon. Right, and Mammon is the God of money. Yeah. You know, so either you're gonna serve the most high and, and suffer like like we've been doing, the apostles, all the rest of the brothers, you know? Because, we're, you know, the thing is, we're not put here to be rich. Micah 2 and 10 breaks it down, right? This is not your rest. This is not our rest, man. We wasn't brought here in slavery 
so we could just figure it up and march for some rights to get a, another type of job and, and save some money and hope for a 401k that's not why the fuck we was brought here you know we were brought here because we fucked up because of our sins man tell you that in the book it was daniel's the ninth chapter and isaiah the 28th chapter the reason why we came over here as slaves the so-called white man was able to come and take this land from our people right and, and bring up rest of our people as slaves is because we broke the commandments of the most side man we disobeyed our power man and when you go into hosea 5 and 15 what did the lord say matter of fact if somebody can give me that real quick and let you got something else give me hosea 5 and 15. okay because jake got it twisted man jake don't think we were brought here to be all we could be exercise our, our mind and, and, and try to sit there and fight for civil rights and nah that ain't it who got it i got it okay you watch. hosea 5 15. i will go and return to my place this is the heavenly father man he said he's gonna go and return to his place so that's why all the calamities and all the hell that we caught the heavenly father went back to his place meaning in other words he turned his back on us man that's why when our people was getting the shit beat out of them throughout slavery they was getting poisoned still they be getting poisoned now all right the most side he, he allowed it to happen right go ahead hey go yeah ahead. we know what you there's no nation um like the so-called um israelites on this planet earth man even like you're going into when jake was in slavery yeah. ain't nobody prayed more than the so-called blacks oh yeah slavery there ain't nobody called. all the all them famous brother them them songs that we yeah. was made famous yeah, like a like spiritual, you know, spiritual, 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 spiritual. Yeah, you know, and as much spirituals, we weren't caught. First of all, we lost his name, right? But we were singing. Even Esau's and all like, yo, no, we need him in our church. We wanted to sing for him, right? Right? You know, right, right, hey, right, they, right, they, right. they pray for come to our right. funeral. I want you to pray, right. you know, because first of all, we're, we're those people. We're the people of the heavenly Father. Yeah, that's right. But as much singing we was doing and singing and swing low, sweet cherry and all, the Lord had His back turned to us, man. Yeah. That's why more pain came on. Then. Slavery's abolished. At that point, the world was done. Slavery was abolished. <laughs> There's gotta be good times now. The right. white man done eased up off us. <laughs> Only for him to put his foot on us even more. Yeah, yeah. yeah because because once yeah. some of you niggas you know? started doing good and, and setting up your own t affluent towns, what they did, they came in and murdered the whole town and buried you underwater and made you into a goddamn you know, lake. You know what's funny? Yeah. If you know the after the slave, so called slave, you know, during the, eight, late, the late 1860s uh -huh. into the 70s, it was known as what? The Reconstruction Period. Okay, yep. Now, yep. at that time, a lot of Jake got into the political world. Yeah. They don't really talk about that too much. They became congressmen, yeah. senators, and then Edom was like, no, no, we can't have this. Yep. Yeah, you know? Because <laughs> right. Right, right? <laughs> after the Civil War, Jake was given, a, they started giving, being given the right to vote. So the Klan started up to run Jake away from the voting groups. And from, become, and from becoming political leaders. Right, and to be well, Yeah, yeah it, it was, it, it, I'm trying to remember this one Jake, first, like a little bit before that, I think in the 1800s, right? Because he was trying to speak, you know, with the abolitionists. But regardless, anyway, anytime Jake's, that was a setup. Yeah. When they let Jake get up in, into the, right, into the uh, political world. That's right. Even to this day. It's a game. You got niggas out there, yeah, hey man, what was that nigga Corey from um Jer Jersey? What is he? Corey, Corey, Book, Book, yeah, Corey uh, Booker, 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 yeah, yeah, man, look, and he had a, for a minute they get niggas feeling right, yeah, it's one of our own, you know, them niggas that say the most sincerest, down to earth, yeah, black power, look, my, my brothers, yes, that's how we talk, yeah. Yeah. my brothers, and what he ain't you were down with it's, and then look at uh, Eric Adams. Oh, he's uh, that dude right there. But that's, a special, that's a special guy. Yeah, man. Because <laughs> you know why? We don't have no place in this world in the politics. That's right. We're not supposed to be running for office. First of all, this is just like Rome. Go back to ancient Rome. Yep. All right, the senators, the, the congressmen, because this is this is the same system. This is the revitalization of the ancient Roman Empire. When you read in the in the book in Revelation the 13th chapter it speaks of what the deadly wound being healed well that's deadly wound is going into the power structure the so-called white man when they were the ancient Roman Empire and now they've been revived back to now which they call America right which which the spirit had in natal which is known as the beast in the Bible so back then you see what was going on it was nothing but debauchery fuckery homosexuality they all had page boys and doing all kind of foul shit back then. Well, what are they doing today in the politics, man? Same damn thing. The same thing. damn thing, if not worse. High tech, more high, high tech. tech, more high tech, finer drugs, 
They all on goddamn drugs, and they're pushing the goddamn agenda of the elites. All right, the, the, of the Rothschilds, man. Okay, and they're getting away with, with, with uh, committing all this damn genocide. So these niggas that get niggas and Latinos that get into this thing, it's they all a bunch of puppets, man. You know what's with, with um, like Kevin Spacey. with the the Jake, the um, yeah, Cheeto, Jake. Don yeah. Cheeto, Cheeto dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there yeah. they showed all that fuckery that goes on in the, in the the senators and all the political world. You know, they be they'll uh, set they'll set people up. You know, they got uh, fuck boys and everybody's you know doing crazy shit, crazy drugs, ass shit. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, that's all that goes on in that political world. It's just a satanic, just free for all. You know. A, yeah. And then, right. and then our people. Cause they so goddamn wicked, they love that shit, man. See, they're comfortable with it. They're comfortable. So back in our Hosea 515, it says, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offenses. Right. Talk about our people until they acknowledge their offenses, man. And our people are not uh, 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 repenting, should I say, and not acknowledging their offenses. They're not saying we messed up. Everybody's making excuses, right? Nobody's sitting there saying, look, we broke the commandments of the laws, man. We were being hoes. We were being this, that, and the third. We started worshiping other gods and everything. You see, nobody want to go to the root of why we're here. And then for all these years, you had all these bullshit politicians we're telling you about and so-called reverends, all these pacifists, these niggas, these, these self-proclaimed black leaders. Ain't none of them led you back to the most side. And ain't none of them explained to you why you're in the condition, man. And that's why the most side said he's going to destroy him. He's going to visit them, man. All these goddamn... Uh, hirelings, these, these uh, puppet leaders, man. The most I gonna visit all of them, man. Because why? First of all, they didn't tell you why you went into slavery. Why this devil was able to get in, in power over us, man. They made, they came with that the defeatist attitude. Can't beat them, join them. Yeah, be good. Be good. No, violence is not the way. We know that they're hosing us down and, and, and sicking dogs on us, but we're gonna, we're gonna fight violence. We're gonna win, win with love. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, love still ain't that love still ain't win. Yeah. Hey, 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 so that's the case. How come BB ain't showing them people in God's right. love? He ain't showing yeah, them no love. Why, why ain't BB turning the other cheek? Right, he ain't sending them flowers and roses, man. Well, wait a minute, over here, the, the U.S. government is sending all kind of money to Ukraine yep. and Israel. Yep. They ain't telling them to, to turn the other cheek. They tell them, look, look we're going to give you some bigger explosives yeah. to drop bombs on them. Bigger gun. We're going to give you a bigger gun. And, and yeah, and, yeah. They, and they, don't, they, say, they tell you now, before, because they're yeah. not, they weren't supposed to get involved in that war, but we told you from the jump that they were going to get into it. They was, first, they was beating around the bush and sneaking weapons to try to fund the Ukraine side. And that's why, what, what Putin said straight up, he said, look, if anybody threatens our sovereignty, no, he came straight. Yep. we're going to use nuclear weapons. This week he said that. I heard it. He said, and, and, and yep. he, he been, that's like the third time I yeah. think he said it. He said, look, if it, it goes there, if it goes there, it's going to go there. If it goes there, it's going to effing go there. Yeah. Which is the Lord. Yeah. The Lord must yes. the host of the battle. That's, that's right. Isaiah the 13th chapter, which the Lord really might have to go there today. Okay. Because yeah. we're yeah. not talking. Right. No, you said the Lord must the host to the battle. Hey, recently they just pulled some nukes out of they, some, uh, some, some hypersonic nukes out of their stockades. Okay. Yes. They're getting ready. Yeah. They're locking and loading. Yeah. All right. Yeah, burn Babylon, burn. Yeah, Babylon is going to burn. Meanwhile, you duck. That's why, oh, brother, we, I, these people of this world, Tell me if y'all feel, feel me on this one, man. Don't you feel more, more and more and more hatred for all these germs out here, man? Oh, it's about a day, bro. I mean, I mean, it's like, like, to the point where I'm ready to bust, man, with that hatred, man. Bro, it's, 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 hey, hey, well, you know why? Because, because these motherfuckers are being more and more wicked That's against right. the most high. That's right. Like That's they bla at one time, people they didn't blaspheme as much as, or as openly as they did. Now, every day you find somebody sitting up there blaspheming the most side, you know, an atheist or. A, Dumb black bitch. Well, God was so smart. Why he didn't know that this? You know, this stupid shit. Like, yes. like they, somebody, you know, was supposed to listen to their dumb ass, man. That's right. They got a bullshit degree from this devil, which the white man is telling you, hello, these college degrees don't mean shit anyway, <laughs> right? And, and, and they done some shit after they don't yeah. fucking and, and, and two or three hundred thousand in like debt, eighty thousand, a hundred thousand in debt. Your, your your mama, the daughter, the son. Right, like two or three generations of niggas are in debt, college debt. That's one man. of the biggest hustles. No more, man. man. That's, a, that's one of the biggest. Can't get rid of that debt. Either. It's a hustle. No. Only through debt. Yeah, that's shit. Yo, in the olden days, all right, if you go back to the 1700s with Esau's world, this bullshit here, the whole thing, the colleges were set up for dudes that wanted to so-called go into the priesthood. 
It was a religious thing. Right, like a monastery. It wasn't a place you went to to go, you got an engineer or go to the shit. Right. Yep. It's a big, it's a big money. In other words, right. a big money hustle. Right? And, and, then on, and then on top of it, it further indoctrinates people into it's, Satanism. That's right. Because once you go to college, right, like look, your, daughter, your daughter comes back with a girlfriend. That's your right. Your son comes back with a boyfriend. That's right. right. They go to college and get freaked out. They're yep. doing all type of psychotropic that's right. drugs. That's right. They, they freak, they freak. That's yeah, right. Down in Atlanta. That was a freak fest. Yeah, yeah freak, freak fest. That's all that happens in, in college. Heathenism. Trust break. me, we know yeah. we work. I just came back from fucking uh, Penn State in that area, man. Only thing they do is go out there and fucking get fucked up, high, and, and, and have sex. It's, it's heathenism. Yeah. It, it, what's that? The feet, Bacchus, or whatever the yeah. fuck they call that? Saturnali? Yeah, it's, uh, the, uh, Howard, Howard, um, the, what was the main thing about uh, Howard? Howard University, Howard Homecoming. You know that you can go down there and get with the freak name shit, you know? It's a Xerxes party. Yeah, it's a Xerxes party. Yeah, Bob Fumet is hanging out down that motherfucker, you know? Yeah, Xerxes himself. Uh, yeah. Wearing a purple World and gold. gold. <laughs> yeah, wearing a purple and gold. That's the earth Jesus yeah. yeah. too. That's right. Yeah. And Bob got his purple and gold uh, So Hosea 5 and 15, it says, so this is back to the Heavenly Father. He said, look, I will go and return to my place until uh -huh. they acknowledge their offense. Right, talking about our people, the people on this this uh, sign. Until they acknowledge their offense, that they went against the Most High. They started serving other false gods, all right? And, and that's why Jake, Jacob's not going to get nowhere. The Lord said in Psalm 51, only acknowledge thine offenses, man. That's it. All right? Hold yourself accountable. Hold yourself accountable. Because like, like a, a dope fiend, somebody that's on drugs, or whatever, they're always in what? Denial. They're in denial. They're in denial. Excuses. So so are they gonna ever get clean like that? No. Hell no. That's why they get first, you know, they get further and further and further. Oh yeah, I'm I'm changed. No, I'm I'm, I'm over that. I was never really strung out. And you see that nigga fucking begging for a fucking dime yeah. outside of a CVS the next night. Hopping like a bunny rabbit. Hopping like a bunny rabbit, all fucked up and high. Yeah. Because why? They 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 uh they don't have no accountability, man. All right, just like these hoes. That's why these hoes got worse, right? We figured that they, 10, 20 years ago, they was proud and wicked. And they became even wor way worse than that because why? It's no accountability, man. Like I tell you in the book of Proverbs, it speak about these fucking hoes in the Bible, man. What's that, Proverbs 31, she wiped her mouth and know of no shame? That's right. Right? These hoes are, uh, are something wicked, man. Actually, they're the most wickedest thing on this earth, according to the Bible, right? And seek my face. Right, and so the Lord said he's going to go back to his place until they acknowledge their offenses and seek it. Not, not only do you got to acknowledge that you fucked up, then you got to seek the Lord. You got to seek, and the scripture says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. So you got to seek the Lord, man. So I'm going to go tomorrow. I mean, in other words, I'm going to let them catch all the hell that we caught from slavery, even to this day, with the cops gunning niggas down, where everybody get all sad and all fucked up, right? The Esau done set up all this gang violence. Niggas has turned against each other more than anything. Well, the most high said he's gonna go to his place to acknowledge their offenses and seek him. Go ahead. In their affliction, they will seek me early. In their affliction, they will seek me early. And the first thing a nigga say, if they get in trouble, they in the hospital, their son gets shot, God right? And God, and God. God and God, right? Hell, um, what was that? Easy E said it. Yeah. My baby ain't never hurt nobody. That nigga sleep with a Bible. Yeah, sleep with a Bible, right? <laughs> So the Lord said, in their affliction, they shall seek me early. So now, the affliction that's about to come, the, the thing that's going to be fucked up, because now is the time where the Lord could be sought, right? It says, seek ye while he may be found. But they're going to seek him early, but the most side is not going to answer. You're going to make, you have to fend for yourself in this, these fucking rough, mean streets of America, man, because it's going to be turned into hell, man. This place is going to be turned into hell, all right? Hell ain't no fucking place in the middle of the earth or some other dimension where you can just get... Gasoline poured on you and lit on fire every day for the rest of your eternity. That ain't no goddamn hell. This is hell. That's why the Lord spoke about our Capernaum. To so thou art in Matthews, right? Thou art exalted unto heaven, thou shalt be, be uh, brought down to hell. Meaning what? The statue. Meaning they're they, they going to be suffering. They're not going to have, because right now, if you if you in a, uh, like in these suburbs, like these people that got these cushion jobs, millionaires, billionaires, trillionaires, they don't worry about the thing that the average person worries about, such as something to drink, some water, what you're going to eat for that night. They get a chance to eat the best. They got livestock. That's why they can burn all the goddamn uh, 
rest of the livestock, right? The chicken uh, stewards and livestock uh, farms and stuff, because the elite got their own, the best of the best, man. Yeah. They got their own private stock. They, yeah. they got their own private stock. And they're raised Bovarian right. Bovarian meat and shit. Yeah. yeah, they're raised right. They're not feeding the chickens corn and the cows candy bars and all that. Right, 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 right. They, right. they actually, they actually got wag like the real shit. The real wagyu. The, uh, 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 you know, uncontaminated, no chemtrails yeah. involved in it. Yeah. No they, cross pollinating. They, they got the real free range animals. Right. Yeah. Yes, right. Sir. I got something for you. Uh, this is uh, in a pocket for prayer of uh, Azariah, right? And this is uh, one in 66. And it says, Oh, Ananias, Azarius, and uh, Masael, bless ye the Lord, praise and exalt him above all forever. For he had delivered us from hell and right. saved us. Wait, hold up. Yeah, what's that talking about? So, so you can actually come back from hell? Yeah, so you're down there burning up. Ah, and then, <laughs> yeah. You know? And exalt him above uh, all forever. For he had delivered us from hell and saved us from the hand of death and delivered us out of the midst of the furnace and burning flame. That's right. So, so um, and that's uh, who's that? Daniel, Daniel and, and, and uh, yeah, it was a Meshach, Meshach, Shadrach, Shadrach, Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego, Abednego, Abednego. Right? So, yeah, they were in hell. They wasn't, but see, but people uh, read that and think that that's all about where their soul was burning. Those are righteous men. All right? So they wasn't burning no goddamn eternal fire. It was catching hell. It was catching hell. They, you, got, you got thrown in the oven or whatever the case is. You know, right. shit, that, that's, that's hell. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just right. like you get thrown in the belly of the beast. You get locked up in jail. That's hell. Right. You got to be up in a goddamn, uh, 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 what do you call them? A holding cell. With goddamn big ass cockroaches, niggas, piles of shit, niggas sitting all over the place. Yeah. Right? You think I'm telling me that's desirable? You got a trail. Oh, best like that could be uh, uh, cuffed up to you. Yeah, you seen that, you seen that, you seen that, um, the, that prison over there in Haiti. Because the prison, oh, no, those prisons the in the no, third no. world country like Jamaica, Haiti, make the prisons here like Taj Mahal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Them dudes don't have to see up. At least the prison. Oh, no, I did see it. I did see it. Yeah, yeah, brother, yeah. yeah. I, like, Look, I'd rather die. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah, not yeah, staying yeah. in there. I did see it. The they got the buckets. You got to get a shit in the bucket and piss in the and bucket state. Nobody cleans that bucket. And, and like a two-man cell up here, you got like eight people inside of yeah. the two, like squished inside. And it's hot. Uh, you know, yeah. down there it's over 100 yeah, degrees. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's stinky and smelly. All right? That's hell. Living here right now is hell. But check this out. When the missiles hit and that fire burning, that's hell. All right? That's right. That's right. All right? America's going to be that great lake of fire. That's the lake of fire is talking about in the Bible, man. That's it. Con. So, yeah, any more? That's all. That's okay, so, did, did I, got something? Yeah. yeah, 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 I got Isaiah 13. Cut up. Oh, yeah. Yep. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah, right. Which, again, in the caption, prophecies about Babylon. Babylon is America. The word mm -hmm. Babylon is a Hebrew word. Babal, which means what? Confusion. Yep. What you got out here? Nothing but confusion, man. Confusion. They destroyed the family, especially amongst these, these, these people, all right? No, no, no more fathers, mothers run things with foolishness, confusion, yep. all right? America is known as Babylon the Great, meaning what? It made ancient Babylon like, look like a picnic, man, all right? Go ahead. It says, the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Yeah, the burden of Babylon, meaning what? The, the prophecies that's going to come against the, the, the ending prophecies of this place. The burden. The ultimate burden is what? The nuclear fire. And the prophet Isaiah saw this over 2,500 years ago. The Lord showed him that vision of America being burned. And he's going to describe what he saw. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. And we're lifting the banner. What's that banner? The Bible, man. Bible. And the true and the true breakdowns of the scriptures. First of all, that Bible is who? That's the book of these people on the sign, these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The, the Israelites. That's our book. And we're lifting it high upon the high mountain, which is America. Even right now, it's in its decrepit state that it's in. People are still one. They still flock. They're flocking. That's the problem down right now at the border. Yeah. It's open, wide open. All right, you get the criminals coming in, yeah, but you actually got people amongst them trying to get work, trying to get that money. Yeah. And they know that this is the only place on the earth where you can just come out of nowhere and get welfare, man. Get government money given to you. You can't go. You can't go to Poland right now, y'all. Um, I ain't got no job. Let me get some welfare. 
They'll boot you out of there, man. You can't go to Germany with that shit. But you can come here. Yeah, right? Everybody comes here. Yeah, they make songs about it. Um, Neil Diamond. They come to America. <laughs> That's right. Right? But, but they, don't, they don't realize they come here to get judged, man. That's right. That's All right? right? Because America is We're the great whore that's sitting for prime many right. waters. That's the right. Scum with the pot that, I mean, a pot with the scum there is. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Pot. The melting pot. Right. Melting pot right. with the scum. And, and you so called white people who are biblically known as scum. Scum. All right? And the whole world looks at you as scum. The yes. only reason why you got people that follow you is because they benefit off you. That's you know, that's all it is. That's why they're going to be sad. You know, this place destroying because why? These other nations and these other countries that used to be third world countries now they fucking are billionaires and Saudi. Uh, let the weak, let the weak uh, say I'm strong. Yeah, right. now now they they're fucking because right. they're in bed with America, right. right? So they they sit there they got all this money. For yeah. examples, right? Fucking uh, AliExpress, right? Oh, That's okay. Ch Chinese, China. Right. right. Their yep. money is made here. Yeah. AliExpress, Alibaba, what's TikTok? that? The new one. Uh, well, TikTok, they try to get oh, No, the other one. Uh, what's that new? Tim, Timu. Oh, Tim, Timu. 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 You know? Uh, yeah, they're, they, they're all making money. They're big because of America, the American citizens. You know, the people in China, they're not big off of their own people. They're big off of America. Well, that's yeah. why in Revelation, the 18th chapter, it says they're going to stand up far off crying. Crying. Because the money, that money, <laughs> money grab is finished. Yeah, yeah. And in their, in their minds, they're like, yo. Without them, how are we going to prosper? Right, because America is a gravy train. Yeah. yeah. All this bullshit they make, they ain't got no consumers. What good is, you know? Even certain islands, man, like Barbados, uh, their, their whole economy is based off tourist money. Of course. It's American most tourism, most tourism, islands. Tourism. Most, most islands. islands. Yeah. That's why, like, even, like, okay, in, in Jamaica. That's why Jamaica is so fucked up right now, because you got all the, the, the gangsters and, and everything. They moving up to the tourism, the places that used to be safe. Right, but now they owning, you know, so they out there terrorizing people. Yeah, the chopper. The chop yeah, yeah, yeah. The chopper. And they go up there and chop the line. <laughs> chop the line. <laughs> go read, oh, I'll read it to lock it. I'm sorry. It says, lift you up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. Right, and that's what we're doing. And see, and that's why it said exalt the voice. A lot of people got a problem. Or some of them, they laugh and get a kick out of thing. It's a joke. But the joke is going to be on you niggas, man. All right? You're going to wish that you had took took the uh, word serious, man. Like during the time of Noah. Right? But the scripture say, Yahweh Shai said it. The, 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 the coming of the Son of Man shall be as what? The days of Noah. The days of Noah. Eating, drinking. Eating, drinking. Getting married. Getting married partying. Partying and bullshit. Everything that a nigga do now, no matter what, the America could be on fire, the house could be burning up. They cooking, they cook out. Niggas oh. gonna be cooking, you know, as long as a nigga make it out of there, he gonna sit there and go do the same shit a nigga do. Oh, uh, fucking uh, C-19, remember? Uh, niggas couldn't go out, go to the yeah. club, so they started, what, DJ battles online? Oh yeah, yeah, club, yeah. Uh, club, yep. Right, right. Having clubbing online. <laughs> and see, oh, they had church, they had church online, they had avatars, and the avatars were sound, <laughs> and the church, <laughs> shouting, they would fall asleep at their computer and leave the avatar. He's shouting all night. Oh yeah! Oh my God! Oh Lord, have mercy, man. Yeah, they're avatars. Lord, have they can, mercy, they can man. add little, add little footsteps to the avatar, so he can shout. And see, and, and, and now, okay. So what Esau did too? You got because a lot of niggas, niggas think they clever and shit. You know, niggas did. Some niggas, a lot of people came. They got creative. millionaires. They got yeah. creative, right? So now that's why you see every motherfucker got a goddamn. Rep, they could keep creating content, content creators and all this right. and that, podcasts, this, that, and the third. So now Jake figured out, you know, what you got, Esau, the white, they they was the main ones behind it. Now Jake is on to things. So now Esau's pulling that rug from underneath him, man. They're unplugging that, man. All right, the, the social media shit is circling the drain as well, man. The being on TikTok leads to being on everything, man. And then really, it's an attack against the truth because the best and greatest thing of social media is that this word went out throughout the four corners of the earth. That's right. All right. And we can show you out of the Bible where the Lord prophesied that the internet was going to be created for this truth to be pushed throughout the four corners of the earth. So that was the greatest thing. The most high is in control, man. The scripture say that the Lord rules in the kingdom of men. Yes, All right. So the most high put the spirit on the goddamn devil to do things to what? For his will to sake. To push his, his prophecy, man. To forward prophecy it's all about prophecy man all right and a lot a lot of you niggas out there are going to be wiped out because why you niggas are stagnant uh, stagnant 
stuck in the mud, stuck on stupid. You don't want the truth. You reject the truth. Jeremiah 4. Yeah, Jeremiah 4. What, 22? 22. Yep. Okay. Yeah, man. All right. This is Matthew 24 and 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. Right, the day and hour speaking about the coming of Yahweh Shai. All right, because now look, and when the Lord come back, see how they be having all these wars lasting years and years and years? Yeah. And the Lord said this thing is going to be in one hour, man. One hour. And one hour is, is great riches come to naught. This whole big apple pie, American Babylon, the great, is going to be washed away in one hour, less than one hour. So go ahead. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. Right, so that's why you got to stay on the ready. Jake like to say, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Well, what is Jake? How is Jake staying ready for the Lord? They not. They not. So guess what? You're not going to be ready when the Lord comes. Because we don't even know the exact date. But if you were in the spirit, if you really are uh, sincere and the Most High is dealing with you, right, you see the signs. And you understand that now is the time that the Most High said he's going to visit the world which he created. Judgment time, man. If you can't tell that we're in judgment time, then guess what? Then maybe a missile is the best thing for you, man. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> or, or, or just get it over yourself. <laughs> you know? Go ahead. No! Not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Right, but guess what? Yahweh Shai is still ready. That's right. He said, look, behold, he's standing at the door, man. Right. He said the day of vengeance is burning, burning within him. Yeah. Burning in his heart and his spirit. So Yahweh Shai gotta come down here and get his vengeance, man. Gotcha. How the hell are you going to try to absorb the so-called white men? These are the same wicked Romans back then. Then you got you fucking ass, wicked ass niggas, you sellout niggas. Yahweh Shai is going to come and mock this goddamn planet up, man. This bullshit kingdom, this bullshit rulership. And then all you fucking sellout Israelites, you hirelings, man. Luke 19 and 27 to you niggas, man. Go ahead. But as the day of Noah were... So shall as earth. the days of Noah were. A lot of y'all forget about that. You heard about it, but you forgot. And guess what? That was real. That really happened in real time. Yeah, I think that's fairy tales, huh? You People would drown. Boom, 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 boom. People drowned, man. Quick, immediately, man. Millions. Hey, can you imagine the bubbles coming out of the, out of the waters, man? Oh, I can imagine, man. You know how many how sharks and, and, and Leviathan probably got busy? Yeah. Red bubbles. <laughs> yeah, red bubbles, mm -hmm. choking on their blood and shit. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Um, told you what you were saying ain't really ain't far off. When the waters receded and the land dried up, you didn't see a bunch of dead bodies. That's yeah, right. That's the bodies were yeah, yeah, gone. Yeah. <laughs> Sharks, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Alligators. That's right, man. Hey, because remember the Lord said he, he said he called the birds of heaven to this to this great that's feast. Man. Yeah, that's right. That's why they made that movie, The Birds and all that. Right. You know. Because normally birds surround the carcass. That's right. Like, you know, crows and everything. Vultures. Vultures. Yes. That's right. right. But as the days of Noah were, uh -huh. so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Right. So when Yahweh Shai comes, it's going to be the same thing. All right. A lot of people ain't going to realize what's going on. Because the majority of the people, y'all following after Esau, the, the, uh, this, this car, what's the name? Schwab. Oh, so AI, AI type of shit. World Economic Yeah, the world, uh, Wefi, Wef, or whatever. Yeah. Right? Y'all follow behind whatever the so called white man puts out there, man. You're not following the signs of the Most High. You're not looking for the second coming of the Lord, man. You see? And then you got even other dumb Israelites out there, man. They're right? They're disconnected. They're not looking for Yahweh Shah to come back. They don't really believe. They go through the motions. Some of them might have garments on, fringes. Right? They might come out, kids. They don't believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. A lot of them ain't even teaching about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's because why? There's no light inside them anyway. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not dealing with them. Right? Go ahead. It says, For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. So they were doing their everyday stuff, man. They were like, hey, 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 no, no harm can come our way. What y'all talking is madness, you know? Yeah. And then yep. they, were, they were marrying, giving them marriage. You know, they're doing their everyday thing. Positive vibes. Until, positive until vibes. that yeah, first yeah, yeah, yeah. positive yeah, yeah, yeah. vibes only bullshit. <laughs> but what does positive, positive vibes mean? Loving homosexuals, girls walking around with green hair, bugged out of their fucking minds. That's positive vibes, which is negative. 
all right? Women running things and men being bitch asses. Negative. That's not positive vibe. That is negative. But they were doing all that madness until that first drop came out of the sky. Yeah. Because remember, it never yeah. before that happened, it never rained. Never. When you read in Genesis, it tells you the earth watered itself by the mist. The, the, the morning dew. Yeah. You saw the mist, except in the morning, you see that, that, that thick mist. Right. You know? You know, that's that dew. That watered the earth. Rain didn't come around until the time of the flood. And they're like, yo, what's, how, how is water coming from the sky? What's that? And the Lord, and said the Lord opened up the heavens. You know, there was running, That's how right? hard it was coming down, was man. There were, yeah, slipping down mountains, you know, trampling each other, trying to get into that ark, and, and it was shut. All right. So it says, it says, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Right, all the way up until the last minute, man. So they didn't take heed. They thought, and, and that's why, look, y'all get a kick out of us. Y'all think we here for your fucking entertainment. Y'all yeah. here, and, and start, and showing you the level that you niggas are on. Oh, them niggas in there, hey, ah, they funny, they bugged out. Oh, them some crazy niggas. But look, these, they were saying the same thing during the time of Noah. Right. And then once the actual Noah got in the flood, they, they seen the rain coming. Guess what? Them niggas tried to make a beeline to get with Noah to enter into the flood, but the Lord, to the ark. To, I mean, to the ark, the water, running from the flood to get into the ark, but the Lord shut the door. The Lord shut the door. The Lord's going to shut the door on a lot of you niggas, man. You fucking mutant niggas, oh, man. The door now is, is Yahweh Shai. Well, yeah, spiritual, bro. Spiritual door. Well, well, it was Yahweh Shai that shut the door. Yahweh Shai and angel. Okay. Remember, the Lord set the, the, uh, the um, angels to block Adam. That was a spiritual thing. It wasn't like it was an actual angel sitting there like, nope, I can't come out the back and don't, like, it wasn't that. It was, spirit, it was spiritual. It was the angels, man. All right? Go ahead. And knew not, it says, it says, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Right, so, and that's, that's heaven. That's scary because the Most High had them all blinded, man. Right? They, the Most High had them blinded. So they didn't look, they didn't listen. They just were sitting there and laughing. They thought, oh, this guy's a drunk. Right? Because Noah drunk wine. Showing you that it's not a sin to drink. Alright? But it's a thing of moderation, man. And knowing what time and what place you were at when you drink. Noah didn't Noah wasn't out there drunk and like sitting there with a bottle of, of wine, prophesying, drinking and prop no. He prophesied anyway. And you can imagine it was it's always niggas niggas been around since the beginning of time, you can say. So he was surrounded by niggas, man. He's like, damn, these niggas, I'm up to look, the most high told me that it's gonna flood, it's gonna rain. Haha, uh -huh, no, man. Yo, no, you fucking, man. Yo, yo, chill with that. Look, man, look, I had dreams. I'm telling the Lord, to, man, no, what you. Then they got a link. Right? Up and then there might be some people that relatives, he, when he was young. Yo, no, we ain't trying to hear that, Noah. No, yeah, yeah, it's going to rain, Noah. Yeah, okay, Noah. And Tell us something. So, he, he, you know, he probably was vexed. Like, you know, these right. fucking niggas, man. He probably had some of that good shit that he made, you know, because everything was better back then. And, and, and he, he cracked open that, that fucking your young. And he had to take it down because of niggas, man. Because of niggas. Just like right now, you get, but the scriptures speak about being long suffering, right? And, and, and you got to long, that's why you got to give honors and salutations to the great men. Men such as Abba Pivens, King Masha, High Priest Ariyah, High Priest Audi Yaiqua, all right? H H High Priest Shaw, the, 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 the holy apostles, man, all right? All, all the apostles, man, the real apostles, apostles, apostles of Great Millstone, man. So you gotta give these men credit because Pastor Tar been going what 40 years just waiting and enduring. And the shit don't get better. It's not like the longer you in the truth, the less wicked, wicked shit get. No, shit it get even worse. more wicked. Yeah. It gets even worse. Like I said, I'm I'm seeing shit that Israelites I never thought would happen in Israel, man. I never thought an Israelite there'll be a, a group of fucking no good rotten bastards sitting up there selling prayers, man. I never thought that would be amongst Israel. We always Laughed at these niggas, Peter pop off and all these other clowns. Yeah, not, not, not selling you, prayer, 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 war, whatever they selling. Not, not, yeah, not, not, now you got dudes in Israel that became Peter pop off, yeah, Joe Osteen. You do. All right, that became Joe Osteen's. Joe yeah. Osteen. If you send him or uh, ask him for a prayer, he won't, he won't do the prayer unless you send, like, did you send a donation. Nah, well, we not praying for. Him. Yeah. I, <laughs> so we, we thought that shit was just these wicked niggas in the yeah. world. Now nah, it's wicked niggas acting like they in the truth too. Yeah, that is, so. Good. 
It says, I knew not until the flood came. Oh, and don't forget too, back in the time of Noah, wickedness was multiplying. Like how you yep. say within the last decades, how the wicked doesn't, imagine Noah's time in a hundred years. Right. Until that flood came. Remember, the it's Lord, the same thing. It's that, the same place. It's just that now it's, it's more, it's worse. That's right. It's just worse. But it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Niggas was being wicked. Yeah, the, you the, know? the Lord said he um he, he repented that he even came up with men. Right. You know? Because right. of, of the wickedness that was going on in the time of Noah. Just like now. It says, Oh, yeah, yeah. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. The flood took them all away. Now the fire, all right, the nuclear fire is going to take you all away, man. That, that's the new flood, which is fire. All right? It's going to take you all away, man. And we say, for that. All right? It says, And knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Showing you we ain't going on. The Lord says the same way it's going to be. The difference now is going to be fire. And it's going to take all of you away, man. That's a destruction. The best of, and the word best of means what? Sweeping agent. That's right. You're going to be swept up out of here, man. Cut. It says, all right, I was just finished the service. All right, it says, all right, that's it. Yeah, come on. Man. Now in the second Ezra is nine and verse seven. It says, everyone that shall be saved so like and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed well, they go, yeah they're going faith mm -hmm. faith they're going faith but you know you got to start at the first verse brother. yeah you got to go to one yeah you got to go to one i read on that yeah 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 brother, like, it's like about the shot it's all the yeah, point yeah that's right <laughs> first that's that lamb you know lamb all over the place that's right that's right and second that's all over the point yeah, you see, in second Ezra's mind, you're like, oh yeah. Yeah, I say, yeah, yeah, it's going to be starting so It's one of them chapters. Yeah, it's one of them chapters, for sure. Second it's, Ezra's, I'm sorry. See, and this is heavy, man, because this is what we rejoice in, man. This is what we rejoice in, man. We be catching how, look, don't think for a minute. And all you brothers out there, look, that's a, that's a, a rite of passage being in this truth, man. And remember this, how was I suffered, man? Right, and it said the uh, captain of our salvation was made perfect through what? Suffering. Suffering. So that's a part of this thing. You gotta suffer. But this is where we rejoice. This is the, the beauty of, of being in its truth, man. When the Lord actually opened your mind to where you you able to rejoice at this word. Like, see how brothers is all into the, the scriptures, the precept, brothers, precept, precept. And this happens in all the camps, starting with the apostles and elders, which the Lord used them to, to, to give us the uh, understanding and shows the examples of how to serve the Lord the right way. I reckon there's a right way to serve you. How about you, Shai? Which Yahweh Shai said it in John 4 and 22, right? Uh, uh, for the, now is the time where the true worshipers worship the Most High, will worship Him in spirit and in truth, which is the right way. And then there's the wrong way, man. All right, which is what? To establish your own uh, understanding. That's the wrong way. Your own righteousness. Breaking down scriptures wrong, man. Uh, it's like yeah. disciples, right? They asked Peter, they said, look, there's others teaching you. Right. He said, look, um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. basically, uh, if you're teaching the truth, we all speak the same thing. Um, like we speak equal, yeah. Yep. Why are you getting it? You know, you know cut. That's all right. You know. Well, second as was not in the one. He answered, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And we measure. How do you measure the time? Going into the scriptures and learning and, and reading and uh, understanding the prophecies that were written in the fourth time. Right. And gauging the times based on the prophecies. That's right. That's how you measure. Okay, because okay, this is happening. Right, yeah, right, we, right, it's right, close right, to yep, that yep, time. Yep, yep, Esau's in rulership now. Right. All right. Remember, right. 2,500 years ago, Esau was not in rulership yet. Yep. You know, now he's in. Okay, yeah, it's falling into place now. Yeah, we're here now. Yep. That great. Oh, at the MOTB is about to happen. Yahweh Shai warned us about that. Yeah. Going back yeah. into the book of Revelation. All right? Yeah. Um, the, the nuclear missiles is going to end it all off. World War III. Oh, everything's coming into place. Yeah. All right? It's designed to give you it's, it's designed to give you hope when times get hard on you. You'll be that's like, right. oh, shit, oh. Hey, the Lord, hey, that's that's being fulfilled. And then it's like it's, it gives you that joke that's that right. you need to keep going forward. Cut. You know? Cut. 
It says uh, measuring the time. Mm -hmm. And you know what? A lot, and, uh, not, I'm not uh, just to touch on it. A lot of Israelite groups ain't doing that. They're not measuring the time because why? They try. They try to measure their pockets. Yeah. Uh -huh. They love. They love. They love. They, they love America. Sorry, if I can say this. You, know, you, can, you can be sorry. Come on uh, in. Revelation said the spirit of Yahweh Shai is a no. spirit of prophecy. No. Right. No. So if you're not pushing Yahweh Shai, or you're trying to devalue Yahweh Shai for, for what he is, right? Which is he's to be worshipped. Right under the Most High Yahweh, then guess what? Yahweh Shai is not going to deal with you. So, a man that's just Yahweh Shai is dealing with, he's going to be mainly involved with prophecy. That's he's going to be harping and teaching the prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. Because that is the spirit of Yahweh Shai. It's a spirit of prophecy. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, Mark 9 and 38. And John answered him, saying, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name. He followeth not us, and we forbade him because he followeth not us. So he was. So this was another group of Israelite men, and they were teaching. They were teaching the truth, right? So go ahead. But Yahweh Shai said, "Forbid him not, for there is no man which shall do a miracle in my name that can lightly speak evil of me." And I, I would say that as a part of that would be. Like you said, speaking prophecies, right? So if you're if you're able to go into these books and break down the prophecies properly, then Yahweh Shai is dealing with it, right? And, 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 and I'll say this too, you know, just just uh, for, for edification. At the end of the day, it's about doing the work. <laughs> if, if you see a brother that's sincerely doing the work, don't 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 fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? Because you got what's called they call them GMS affiliates or whatever. You know, I mean, now if they going off and they breaking the scriptures down wrong and they teaching heresies, then yeah, we're set up for the defense of the gospel. But if, if you got, you know, because the thing is, is that you got to remember, it's a body of our body, some our shot. And, you know, that's like, you got to stay within your jurisdiction too. You got to, you know, you got to know what's your jurisdiction, you know, your limits in this truth. Like in other words, in certain certain camps, not everything, not every camp runs the same. Some camps are on Saturday, some camps are on Friday. Some camps are on Sundays, right? Because of the situation of that particular camp. The bottom line, the, the main thing is that they're camping. The word of Yahweh by Shemel Shai is going out. So you don't never want to be a hindrance to that. And like, I compare it to the body, all right? There's certain ways that uh, uh, your hand functions, which is different from your kneecap. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's part of the body. Let it let it flow. Now, if it's going off, then that's when you got to correct it. But at the scripture he's reading, what did the uh, disciples say to Yahweh Shai? They're teaching in your name. In your name. Right. See, they're teaching in the name of Yahweh Shai. Yeah. They not, you can't go wrong. Yeah. You're teaching Yahweh exactly. Shai, man. You know? So it says, uh, Mark 9 and 40, for he that. Because while you're in this truth, you got to try your best not to be offended. That's right. You know, it's a, because, you know, being in this wicked world and you might think of whatever things are supposed to go a certain way, how you. Nah, you got to try to not be offended in Yahweh Shai. And, and, and guess what? Spirit is like the wind, all right. So you don't ever think that you. Scripture say uh, your ways are not my ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't think that you can figure out. No, oh, I got got it under control. No, no, no. Look, it's supposed to be this way. This is how we do things. This is how. Man, listen, man. Learn how to, you know, flow in the spirit. All right. So Yahweh Shai, he was, you know, and then you gotta give things time too. You know, Scripture say judge no matter before it's time. So it's a lot of things that come in the play being in this truth and. and, and through acquiring the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it, it starts with, you know, the uh, experience, man. You know, and coming up the right way. The thing is, uh, uh, the elders, the apostles, they set up as examples. So if you don't see them doing something, you don't see them smoking cigarettes, per se, for lack of a better example, then don't smoke no fucking cigarettes. You don't need to see a scripture that says, thou shalt not smoke, even though you should, you should be that simple, but some. Jake R. Show me where it says you ain't supposed to smoke a cigarette, you know? Some Jake's are simple like that, man. All right? So, you know, if you got brothers out there that's teaching 100% truth in the name of your how about you and the and the Mosai haven't per se brought them into the GMS camp that's there, first of all, the Mosai set up all the, the camps or whatever that's out there, all right? And if they're not of the elect, then we know what's going to happen. <coughs> but you got to be careful because you don't want to destroy or offend any of the, the Lord's little ones or the, the elect for that sake. So, 
part 9 and 40. It says, for he that is not against us is on our part. That's it. So, and that's the thing of what, what Yahweh Shai said, live peaceable with all men if possible. Because here it is, sometimes you got some people, the most High got set up out there that got your back and you don't even know it, man. You know, like the apostle Paul, right? He went to that, there was a city he went to, right? And, and the Lord told him, there's a been there that, that's, that's with me. You know, roughly paraphrasing it. You know, so, you know, hey. Yeah. Because right. in this truth, we're always under the gun. We're always being plotted upon. We always got spies, right? We always got uh, Esau, the, the government, setting up people. You know, you got people always trying to, because why? That's what they did to Yahweh Shai. The wicked Pharisees and Sadducees always try to trap Yahweh Shai up in his words and his teachings, all right? And, and that's why Yahweh Shai prayed. He set the apostle Peter, he set him up, right? He said, upon this, this rock shall I build my church. But then he said, not even the gates of hell shall be able to prevail, shall be able to prevail against it. You see? Go ahead. Who, who got the scripture? I got it. Uh, going into uh, teaching on one accord, right? This is uh, John 7 and 38. It says, he that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said. And see, this is why our people are lost, man, and they're going to die. And they don't believe in the Lord, man. All right, because they believe in what they learned in these stupid ass churches. You still got these these stupid, dumb, uh, and especially the well, I can't even say the Latino tribe, but the tribes. Period, believing in this bullshit so-called white Jesus, man. When the Lord said, "He that believeth on me is as the script as the scriptures say." When you read in the scriptures in the Bible, it don't say that it never said that the Lord was that damn cracker, man. All right, that Rubio, that Galilee, the blind, the blind, the blind of Galilee. Blonde haired, blue eyed devil. That's a blonde haired, blue eyed devil. All right? The Bible never said the Lord looked like that. But you got all people that get caught up into that. And that's why they're going to die. Right along with their family. Right? Because they think everything is a joke, man. Right? Yeah, and, and, and that also breaches into what, what they call the colorism, you know, amongst the tribes. Yeah, right. How they, they hate the darker ones because, yeah. you know, you got to look like sensory, <laughs> sensory bougie. You know, they worship blonde hair and blue eyes. All the tribes, man. Right, you Negro tribes, you Latino tribes, all of you, man. You know, you, you won't be in for a rude awakening when the true Lord comes back. All right? That's right, man. That's right. So John 7 and 38, again, says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So you have to teach according to what the Bible says about the Lord. The, the Bible says, um, Yahweh Shai, that's his true name. He only came for these people on the sign. He only died for the Israelites, man. All other nations are going to be slaves to the Israelites. Now, right, right. And the, and the nations, and as a footnote, the nations ain't going to be erased or wiped, wiped off. All right? You got, I, you got, I see other uh, uh, heresies and everything. Man, the spirit is not with IUIC, man. Really, the spirit is with Great Millstone, man. All right? And anybody that's teaching the same thing, that has the same, because there's only one doctrine, there's only one truth, there's only one power, one most high, one one savior, one name. The scriptures speak of that, man. So everybody would, can't everybody can't be right in this. All right? And the Lord said in 2nd Ezra, the, the 16th chapter, at the end of the day, he said, then shall my servants be made known. All right? Because you got these guys sitting up there talking about the Lord's going to do away with the nature. The scriptures say what, what the most high do if he do it forever, man. All right, so the most I got to do away with these nations, man. And the nations can't be saved neither. Because when the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have slaves. Slaves are going to be in the kingdom of heaven. Servants, man. Revelation 13. So how the hell is Esau going to get tossed in a, a pit, an eternal pit of fire, burning forever, forever and ever, ever, right? And then the Lord said that he that leadeth us in the captivity should go into captivity. So we're going to be robbed out of... Uh, a, payback. A, a payback of putting in the captivity the people that put us in captivity. And that would mean that what the Lord said would be a lie. That's impossible. That's right, man. So so that that's that's off, man. But anyway, the sincere the sincere people that believe on the script the Lord as the scriptures say, right, out of their belly should flow rivers of living water. All right, go ahead. Go ahead and play. I got something to say. I got something to say. Is, uh, this is like Second Ezra, Second Ezra two and twenty-seven. Be not weary 
for when the day of it says for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh and see and that's the thing and it's truth you can't a lot of times people get weary that's why they end up packing their bags mm -hmm. they sit there having itching ears right someone would say look i can't do this no more some people will say that oh yeah you talk about that rap yeah yeah <laughs> uh, 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 splinter yeah that that nigga uh, yeah for not you know and how the hell just because you look elderly <clears throat> Right, and he's probably a nigga that's older than what he, I mean, he, he's younger than what he looks, you know? I mean, cause he looked like he about 85 or some shit, but he probably only 32 or some shit, you know? Yeah, he, he looked messed up. He, he looked messed up, man, you know? <laughs> Fucking throwing in the towel. First of all, you was never even in the fight, you yeah. know? The throwing the goddamn towel. Then you got you gotta this. be in the fight, in the ring to, to throw in the towel. And your, your corner's supposed to throw in the towel, man. Yeah. How, how, how <laughs> bitch, how <laughs> bitch ass is yeah, yeah, you? Know. You throwing yourself? Hey, give me that towel, give me that towel. Oh, right. from the fight. Right. 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 Look, man, I'm throwing in the towel. I quit. I can't do this no more. Yeah, well, you know? Hey. Yeah, but then the scriptures say, look, and, and we doing what the scriptures say. Luke the 14th chapter. It says, then they began to mock him that, that uh, wasn't able to finish. That, that started building but wasn't able to finish, man. You're supposed to finish the course. The Apostle Paul spoke about finishing the course, man. Yeah, so I got some personal things in my life that I need to sort out. Who don't? Nigga? Right. <laughs> that's the oldest man. That's, 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 how many who said I'm old? That's how scripture fight my start to make excuses. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And what life? What life? He, this he, is he, life? He's looking, oh, he looking for his rest. Ah, he's looking for his rest. He really, he lost the will. He said time he had If he, I question if he even had any oil, man. Might have some vegetable And that also, olive oil. Matter of fact, the, the topic of us was prayer for the week, right? Right, That's right, prayer, right, 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 pr right, right. Praying is very important, yeah? yeah. Because the Lord could put out any of our plates, man. David. Yeah? That's a scary thing. We, we left that dudes, but really it's scary because, you know? That's why we pray and, yeah, and, so we know, yeah. and we try our best to do what we're supposed to do in this thing, man, vehemently, man. That was King in the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei was shot. Pray not. You take your Holy Spirit away. The con. You know? And yeah, I was shy to that. What did you say? Um, quickly remove that candlestick? That's right. Yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, it's not so it says, be not weary. For when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh. Yeah, you got to fall up before the day of trouble and heaviness really came. Yeah. Right? I, I got a quick one. Yeah, you got it. Real you got it, bro. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. Right. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed, lest he fall. All right? Cut. Yeah. Read it again, Scott. Yep, yep. It says First uh, Corinthians ten and twelve. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed, lest he fall. In other words, we got we constantly checking ourselves, man. Yeah. Taking uh, what do you call that? Taking out uh, inventory. inventory on ourselves, yeah. from the top and bottom, man. Con mm -hmm. Constantly, we can't leave inventory time. Yeah. You know, in, in business, they might have a certain designated day in the month to right. take inventory right. of the other. All the shit in the store. No. Well, 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 why do they do that though? Why do they sit there and take inventory, right? To make sure everything is running well. Everything yeah. is running right. Yeah. To keep the business running because if not, the, the business will uh, fall, fall apart. apart. They, they, you got to, you got to have inventory. You got to know uh, what you need, what you got a surplus of, what you don't, not enough. What, 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 what's, not what's not selling? What you need to get rid of, right? So you got to do that within yourself, man. Because at the end of the day. We we gonna have to work on until Yahweh Shai get here, but the thing is, you're supposed to be working on it. You know, trying to well, the scriptures say, mortify the deeds of your flesh, like trying to get better. We, you want to get increased. You're supposed to grow, man. You're supposed to grow. Bottom line, you're supposed to grow in this truth, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But you got other guys that are decreasing, and, and boy, are they decreasing, man. You look at something like God, damn. Right. It says, be not weary. For when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. See, others, we're not supposed to be like these, these other niggas out here in the street. These niggas that rather go smoke a blunt than read the scripture. All right, they're going to weep, man. Because why? The most high going to bring death at these door. Niggas sitting there high talking all this shit. What they going to do, man? The most high going to have some of these niggas get snatched out by their dreads, dragged into a goddamn concentration camp. That's right. right? The Lord gonna have you bitches getting your, your weed pulled out, snatched up. The, yeah, cause you bitches, y'all not gonna get away neither, man. That's right. You think because why? In this world, they they elevated you. You see what they did now? They bumping you damn silly ass hoes out the way for these nasty fucking transgenders. Now they elevating them over you. Yeah. So where you think you gonna stand at? All right, there's a, a, a movie which Pastor put us onto it, uh, the part of the road back in the days. I watched it again recently. Yeah. That, 
that Prime has it. Yeah, that, that show you about how you women are gonna be the Book of Eli. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm thinking about that one too. All right. Yeah, Mad, Mad, Mad Max. Hands tell. Yeah, Mad Max. Don't think that shit ain't gonna go down, man. Don't think that, man. All right, go ahead. For when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, you know, all throughout the, the scriptures to speak about the hell that's coming, man. That's why the scriptures said within, within and without is whoa, 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 limitations. All right, that's what the Lord is. That's what the Bible's about. The Bible speaks about judgment. All right, in this, this day and age, in this society, and seeing a lot of you jake because you lean to your own understanding, you trust in your own ways, you, you, you all in your emotions and stuff like that. So therefore you blinded from seeing the truth of what's really going on and you get again caught off guard. Right. That day overtakes you as a thief in the night. Because this is what the scriptures say, the day of trouble, man. The day of trouble, what do you think these devils are doing? Why do you think they allowing all these motherfuckers to get up over here in the border just so now they can pass new laws against them? They let them over here, right? And then they said, look, they said, look, they, they could stay because there's a problem. All right, see, the media, they don't speak on it. And even with these damn rats, you got, what is that? They call it the IDF, or the Israeli Defense, IDL, or Force, whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> well, they got a lot of, they got a shortage too. Nobody's also uh, uh, joining the, 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 the line up with them. You got a lot of, of the soldiers def deflecting because they see the wickedness of what they're doing. The people that's uh, giving their, their marching orders uh, basically got them going over there killing innocent little kids. So it ain't just on the United States side. Over there, you got the other other people deflecting from the army. That's why a draft would be instituted. That's why they coming up with these super soldiers and all these other robots and stuff, okay? But that's that's what's going on, man, right? It says, others shall, others shall weep and be sorrowful. So others shall weep and be sorrowful. We're not supposed to be, like you got Jake, they see a, 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 a bitch in her whole fence, she might have four kids, they all get laid down, Somebody, you know, the Lord had them get destroyed, a helicopter fell, fell in a house and, and burn up all these kids and everything, you got people that get all, oh my God, I can't believe it. <laughs> we're not, we're not supposed to be weeping, that's the others, man, that's why, sure. they don't have the eyes out, the Lord is not dealing with them, they don't know what's going on, we know a time, we know we're in a time of judgment, we know the Most High is bringing his judgment, the scripture say the Lord, oh, what's that, uh, uh, Zephaniah, is it? Three and five every day. The, uh, the uh, how, how, how it goes? Lord. Lord. And uh, just know if, know if it's not. Yeah, if you, if you get it, you know, because every day the most high judgment come to pass. People die every day. You know, if a baby's born, somebody's dying. Right, go ahead. Zephaniah three and five. It says the just Lord. How about right? The just Lord. The just Lord. That's it right there. Meaning, look, the most high is righteous. Whereas y'all look at it. At these people right. dying, these babies dying, these women dying. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, that's no the just Lord. All right, and then sometimes it's for uh, for their own good. Whoever yeah. being, being innocent, right? Or or sometimes the most side uh, take people away from the evil to come, like righteous men, right? Because they're gonna come back. They works follow them. The scriptures tell you that. All right, and let me tell you something. The people that are left that didn't die. You gonna wish that it was you inside that fucking casket, man. Yeah. They said they showed oh, uh, the seek death and, yeah. and not find, find it. it. Yeah. Like you was talking about that fucking beetle, uh, uh Wendy Williams. How how one of y'all was talking about how fucked up yeah. and she look all crazy and shit. She wishes she was dead for dead a long time ago, man. That's worse than death. That's worse than death, man. So it says Zephaniah. Do she look like remember large march when the ice popped out of his head? And they didn't go back in. Yeah, that, 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 hers didn't go back. Yeah, that, you know? that's the Lord, man. You know, Lord had like an angel screaming, you know? Most I... Hey, sure, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, got, the, the Lord, the Lord got a sense of humor. Yeah. Out, He'll turn, yeah. Yeah. I mean, she already, she already looked like a yep. horse. Yep, like the statue literally, yep, yeah. melting and all the that. But the, yeah. the Lord, the Lord got her, the Lord got her with a permanent yeah. Halloween mask on her face, man. Yeah, she loved you know? from Scooby-Doo, the green yeah. monster. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it, 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 it ain't right. no... Well, some people don't get there, got no... Don't feel remorse that you're the piece of shit. That's right. But we definitely don't feel no remorse for none of you so-called celebrities out there that the Lord is judging. Because first of all, y'all enemies are the most side. You got this this uh wicked ass bitch, Oprah, uh, Oprah Winfrey. So she's mess. Right? That old fucking dusty that dingbat. That, yeah. She was at Epstein Island doing all that nasty shit the rest of them was doing. You know, talking about uh, knee surgeries and all this and that. I mean, the most side gonna 
fuck Oprah. Oh, yeah. All right. Yep. And a lot of these, a lot of these motherfuckers are alive. The Most High want them to feel it. He want them to see it. He want them to see those nuclear missiles coming too, man. Yeah. All right. So what, what, what y'all uh, say? Oh, y'all got to fix that bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's like yeah, that's what it kills. Yeah, it's Wendy Williams, man. <laughs> Well, we got a picture of Wendy Williams. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so that's why the scriptures say, what profit of a man if he gains the whole world and sell his soul? See, okay, you riding high, but you guess what? To end. Now you became an enemy of the Most High at, at what cost? Because guess what? What goes up must come down. Especially in this society, right? Yeah. Right? Zephaniah 3 and 5. It says, the just Lord Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai is in the midst thereof. Right, and the brother read the scripture earlier, Amos 9 and 7. The eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom. The just Lord, there's angels that are all around us, man. Angels are everywhere you go, the, the angels is there. Nobody's not doing nothing, that none of us, man. All right? So that's why, really, you know, the best thing you can do is just be honest, especially dealing with the Most High. Ain't none of us doing nothing that the Most High don't know about. You know, if, if you are... That snuck to a goddamn witch in, in the middle of the night, like saw the most I see. Look at this fucking nigga, right? And yeah, the scriptures say the Lord, um, the Lord said, "I try the reins," meaning that he he's the one that the angels work on your mind, you know, to get you to, you know, oh. you get sent evil angels to get you to go off, or get sent righteous angels to guide you to the to righteousness. Like uh, Job, yeah. so, have you tried? Have you tried Job? You told Satan, you tried him on. Right. So yeah, yeah, appreciate for you. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 14. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Right, whether it be good or whether it be evil. And seeing the people people like Wendy Wood, I remember the time when we used to sit there and tell people that these celebrities, they sold out, yep. that they homos, they get whatever. Yeah. They, they used to think, oh man, y'all hating on things, but not, not this one, not that one, right? We're like, nah, they all sold out because the Lord showed us enough in order to get ahead in this society. If this is the devil, this Job 9 and 24, earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So if this is the wicked society, for you to get ahead, you got to be wicked. You got to bow down to them. So so now you have people caught. Um, this one dude said, man, I got to say, man, you were dead right about this. Look, they all a bunch of fucking faggots. Yeah. See? But so all that stuff that they, again, uh, uh, Pete Diddy with his old... Wicked faggot ass, man. Yeah, that ass. yeah, yeah. That, that wicked nigga. Look at all this, all these shit allegations coming out on him, man. All right, the Lord is doing that, man. And you got people saying, "Oh, man, y'all knock it." First of all, nigga, knock themselves, man. And that's what happened when you become an enemy against the Most High and think you can do all kind of wickedness and you trust in these fucking crackers, man. Cause they might give you a couple millions and billions of dollars and you trust in them and you and they sit there bend you over and have you have you every which way oh then you go sit there and, and pass that down to, to to the next little dumb niggas man now usher usher you got usher running to the hospital because you done did some foul shit to him oh. right that's what these niggas do man all right that the, the so-called wicked rites of passage man and now it's all coming up there's nothing that that is uh Hey, that should not be revealed, man. Yeah, yeah, Most sides making it all, bringing it all out to the light. Cause y'all a bunch of them uh, Freemasons, a bunch of Boule, secret society, war, war, uh, uh, not war, warlocks, warlocks, warlocks yeah. yeah, wizards, you know. And then you sit there and put your kids, like we were speaking about Will Smith, you know, all his kids. He basically sacrificed them to the elites. That's why his kids is off, and, and that sets some precedence for the rest of you niggas and celebrity kids. A uh, D Wade with his his, his old. Fucking sweet ass man. Oh, yeah. All right, he he, worse than yeah. his son. Yeah, he might. Yeah, now he's worse than his son. Mike Tyson yeah. too. Mike, yeah, Mike Tyson. Yeah, is, 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 and, and Mike Tyson. I mean, yeah, you know, we all love your fights, and, and, and Mike Tyson's a, a lovable. But fuck all that. There's no respect to a person oh, with the most side. You, you, yeah. So I thought it was a daughter all this time. They said no, it was a dude that turned into man. First of all, that's an abomination, man. And see, and the thing is, y'all think that oh well, I gotta love it. It's, it's my, no, 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 you don't. You don't. No. Shit, you hate you hate you hate uh somebody that's telling you the right thing, right? You hate your father, you you do this, that, and the third. So even much more, even if, if that's if you really love love uh those abominations that you call your children, shit. <laughs> well the scriptures say this, I'm gonna say this. The scriptures say in the ancient world, if you had a son that was like that or do you would stone him. Alright, you bring him before the people and you be the first one to put stones on him. Right? And that's how you put away evil from amongst the nation. 
from amongst Israel. But you niggas sit there and break it. Well, it's my son, you know, it's my, you know? And then you start pushing it. Who, that, who, that new who are you? And that's why y'all get offended when people sit there and, and, and speak on these things. But guess what? You can't, you, you get offended at the most high, the creator. And you will know the creator. And the most high is going to humble all you wicked ass niggas, man. That sit there and push that goddamn bullshit. And a lot of y'all know better too, man. Shame on you niggas, man. That's why the Lord said, cry aloud and spare not, man. Hey, this is I had to look up Meek Mills. When he had lost the bet to that cracker, he made him do the bunny hops. That oh, yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. Shit. yeah what, what, else, what else he did? What else he makes you hop on? Oh, he was on my, he's Yeah, on, and, and then you, that's what I'm saying. All these, so that's why, look, man. Look, man, hey, hey, this world, the scriptures say this world got to go, and it got to go. And all you niggas that sold out, you going to go with it, man. And some of y'all trying to go down without a fight, but you, you fighting a, 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 a a losing, a losing battle. battle. A losing battle. Lost you know? That contract is done. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, it says, so it says, the just Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Right. The most I ain't going to do iniquity. He ain't going to bring judgment upon you for no, no reason. If you was an innocent person, if you didn't, if you kept the law, statutes, and commandments, if you listened to the most I and obeyed his word, he's not going to let you get all fucked up and let plagues and diseases or whatever. It's a reason why these things happen. Right? Every morning does he bring his judgment to light. Yeah, every morning. I Meaning every day does he bring his judgment to light. You might see somebody get their head decapitated. You might see a, a slew of people get shot. Little kids getting dro uh, jumping out of buildings from fires. Yeah, motherfuckers getting burnt up. In Those are the judgments of the Lord. Because why? Psalm 68 and 20. Read that. That's it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The issues of death belong to the most high. So it's, the Lord is behind all of that, man. So that's why we out here, because we know the most high, he can take your life. He can take your life. You know, we know the most high can, can take us out, man. That's why we sitting up here, humble, we humble ourselves before the most high and do what he tells. He told us to come out here to cry aloud and spare not. Isaiah 58 and 1. It says, every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not. Mm -hmm. But the unjust knoweth no shame. Yeah, our people still don't, they just go back to business as usual, man. They could, here it is, the Lord killed one nigga for committing adultery. You yeah, figure a nigga say, yo, man, I ain't doing that. Do nah, nigga gonna worse. keep doing it worse, man. Hey, it's, 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 I call it the jail, the, the, the jail, the jail syndrome. I do go to jail. He don't, we all know they don't get rehabilitated. That's all bullshit. Right, right. What he does is he try to figure out a scheme a better one, yep. so he won't get caught next time. See, too. Yep. This is why I yeah, fucked yeah. up that. I did that right. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this dude, you know? Yeah, cool. And they network. All right. Oh, they do. That's they cool. Cool. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Yeah. My man, my man, the, the activist that was on the Joe Rogan podcast. Oh, that's the Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. the Joe Rogan podcast. Oh, that's 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 Come on, man. They shot them up. They showed them going in. They heard the gunshots. That's what got them caught. The people said, we heard gunshots. And we didn't see the guy come back out. Yeah. Yeah, he got a leg up. Yeah, he got a leg up. Yeah. So, um, I got another cruise up for you. Too. Hey, come on. This is um, Isaiah 1 and 5. It said, why should you be stricken anymore? Yeah, why, why should you be stricken? Why should the Lord beat you down even? You just get more wicked, man. Yep. That's our, and that shows you it's talking about our people. Cause ain't nobody fit the script but you so-called Negroes, followed by you Latinos, Native Americans, right? In the book of Ezekiel, the Lord said if he chose any other nation, he wouldn't have this problem. Yeah, imagine that. He said, why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. And our people revolt more. Wait a minute, we went, we always talk about slavery and all this and that, and Jim Crow, and, and um, what do you call that one, the Oklahoma City, when the guys them, Rose, oh, oh, no, the Rose, Black, Wall Street, yeah. Black yeah. Wall Street, all of them, right? But Jake still got worse and worse. All right? Well, You're making the wicked niggas of the 1920s look, let's say the niggas from 1920s are looking at you now like, damn, y'all doing that? That's right. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, we ain't do that. You know? <laughs> worse and worse. It said the white man, it said my people have, have surpassed the ways of the wicked. To the That's wicked. right. Yeah. It said the whole head is sick, the whole yeah. heart faint. From the sole of the foot even up to the head. All the tribes, man. The There's whole, no the whole head is the whole head is sick. The whole no, head is even sick. to the foot. Because even even with these these little niggas, man, these monsters, man. Yeah. They, you look at them, they sick. There's no hope. You know? <laughs> yeah, I quote Tupac. 
The truth is, there's really no hope for the future. You know, so so to speak. I'm just saying, like if, if this was the future, these yeah. niggas that you see now, yeah. little this nigga, little that nigga, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then, then there's no future. That's why the same person said there wasn't for a remnant. We, we all let Sodom and Gomorrah. That's we right. Left. That's right. It says, from the sole of the foot even unto the head, there's no soundness in it. For no people. soundness. But wounds and bruises there, and there's no soundness in it. Source. Right, because the shit don't make no <laughs> yeah. sense. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, I recommend yeah. you not to even try to make sense of these niggas, man. Like I said earlier, they, they, they like it shouldn't even be a debate. But you got a lot of these niggas, and of course it's the niggas that already put the dress on and said there's nothing wrong with wearing the dress. That doesn't mean nothing. This, what, what kind of soundness is that? You know? What kind of soundness is that? That don't make no goddamn sense, man. You see, but, but you know our people, they're going to find a way to justify their wickedness. You know what I'm saying? They're going to find a way. Here it is, you sold out, and then you get called out on it. You know, now you're getting mad at everybody. You shouldn't have sold out, nigga. All right? You should know. You make a deal with the devil, you got to pay up eventually. Okay? It says, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. Mm, putrefying sores, They right? have not been closed, neither bound up, neither molly, mollified with ointment. Yeah. That's, That's the ointment. Ointment huh? is this, this word. That's, That's right. right. It's true. Yeah, here it is. Um, Lord is trying to heal you with this with this truth, this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and you pushing the you pushing the uh the solution away, you pushing the cure away. Is that Lamentations two and fourteen? But the Lord said that that creatures that pastors have not exposed your, your wickedness, so you can be turned back. Right. But yeah. I, I paraphrase it. Well, the and then, then what's that? Isaiah twenty eight. We said this is the refreshing, but you were but not. not. Yeah. 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 Oh, Broken, broken, broken systems, broken systems. Yeah. Look, I'm, 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 I'm gonna live by my way. You know, I'm, I'm gonna do things my way. You know, I, I, don't, I don't care what y'all say. Yep. I got my God. I, I went to church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the horse. Yeah. 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 That was it on that. Yeah. That's right. That's right, man. Yeah. Second Ezra two and twenty seven on down says, "Be not weary." For when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Woo! Oh, no, that's Job the fifth chapter. <laughs> Job five and all was that nineteen? To my to my my pulling that. Guy. Yeah, because hey, because like pretty much we've been suffering this whole time. And, you know, like we, like knowing the truth, it, it vexes your spirit to go off from day to day in life. And see the wickedness of the world because our eyes are open to to to, to the wickedness that, that that the lord hates and, and you know and then another thing we in the truth we love the lord and we hate what we we hate what he hates so so we down here living from day to day stressed out because of this fucking wickedness all the wickedness that we can't rectify going right. on in the earth that's right brother you know the scripture does ecclesiastes that he that increases in the knowledge increases in sorrow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't that yep. sigh and cry for all the abominations. Yep. Yep. Good. It says, oh, you got the joke. Oh, joke. He said, let me see, I started at 17. He said, Behold, happy is the man whom the Most High corrected. Right, happy is the man whom the Most High co Joel, uh, corrected. Oh, the scripture yeah. said, Despise not the ch thou the chastening of the Most High. That's a beautiful thing. It's a good thing. You know, the scripture said, reprove a wise man and he will love you. See, a lot of y'all that, that get offended, really, you shouldn't get offended. You should be thinking the, bro the apostles, the brothers, because why? What we're doing is we're teaching you your transgressions so that you can repent and actually have a chance of, of being delivered, man, of delivering your household, man, delivering yourself, your household, all right? We, we coming to you with life, man. But it's not, there's no life out You think this is life out here? With these yeah. wicked assholes, look at the, look what you got for role models for these hoes, man. That's right. And I don't care how much money that they, uh, moguls they supposed to be, they all out of order, man. That's right. When, when the last time you heard of uh, 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 Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, uh, Megan, Stat, whatever their names is, make records talk about be a good wife, be a good wife. Yeah, oh, listen, love okay. your husband, love your husband. Right? Gonna, when you ever heard them, they, they don't do no shit like that. It ain't gonna sell. Yeah. Because what? And it ain't gonna sell. All right, and, and, and what uh, Ice Cubes has said, of course, and he would know, he's, an he's been in it. All right, the people that are behind the scene would never push or promote that anyway. All right, so it is it is a, a, a thing that is set up by the so-called white men at the end of the day. 
But our people, they're, they're all in it, man. And hey, you have people that try to, to, to push positive vibes, like India Ari, uh, 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 Jill Scott, was she, Angie Stone. Angie Stone, Stone. All yeah, they, yeah, they, 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 they was all a bunch of damn yeah, Afrocentric, bugged yeah. out bitches, yeah, 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 not, the, not, the, not the, washing yeah, their ass, yeah, natural. Yeah, yeah, the, I remember India Ari, armpit was yeah, she had more. she had a bigger Afro than Jackson yeah. 5. Yeah. Under that moment. No, Tito probably was hiding there all these years. But there was a, there was a <laughs> little less wicked than we no, I'm not, I'm not, I know, yeah. I get the point he's saying. Yeah, I'm yeah, 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 You ain't got the truth. You, you gotta, you, if you all talk about yeah. self-positive, this was old girl. I want to thank you, Heavenly Father. That's back in the 80s. What's her name? Hey, even though I, I, thought, I, 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 I forgot, forgot her name. name. Yeah. But like, you know that? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that was, you know, we grew up. We grew up, you know what I'm saying? That was back in 82. That was 82? That was 82, bro. Yeah. I remember when I took drugs. That was 82. You know? First time I heard that song was in Brooklyn. <laughs> Atlantic, I don't know where I was at. Atlantic, yeah. Yeah. They, they ain't yeah. saying no, but she was thinking of Mo Sai for giving her a man. Yep. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You don't got women. That no more. That generation, that's a different that's generation. Wrong, man. Yeah. That was the generation that was still cooking in the, in the house. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yep. going back yep. to when I was seven years old. Yep. 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 Long time. Homie, yeah. 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 Yeah, all that shit. Yep. Hot comb on the oven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot comb on the oven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 quick switch it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, this is you know, the words of an infamous brother don't got to be that quick. Proverbs 9 and 8. It says, We prove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Right, mm -hmm. so when you put, you prove me, don't don't try to correct the scorner, because he's gonna he's gonna hate you, he's gonna rebel against you, he's gonna talk shit about you, you know. And that's that's a nigga. Yeah, most time, a most time, yeah. a nigga, you sit there and tell him, hey, yo, bro, man, you ain't supposed to be smoking cigarettes, or you ain't supposed to be, you know, selling drugs, or yeah. you ain't supposed to be looking at that other dude's wife, man. That's that's his wife. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah. Who yeah, you? Who you? Who who you to tell me what? Somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody gonna want to kill you. Yeah. yeah. Man, look, man, I'll do what the fuck I want to do, man. Yeah, man, no, 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 he'll go deep. Like, I'll, nigga, I'll look at your wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Well, look at Boosie. Remember the rapper Boosie Badass on my pork? He said, man, they tell me that I shouldn't eat pork. He said, he'll flip the Heavenly Father to feed him. Okay, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, out yeah. of here. Yeah, yeah, yep. Reprove not a, now y'all know yeah, who that scorner yeah, is. Yep. <laughs> hey, because, you know, like with a nigga, man, if you sit there and correct him, that nigga gonna wanna kill you most of the time. That's Hell, yeah, I was shot. You know how many times he had to get away from the crowd because yep. he was sitting there uh, correcting him, and he's the son of the most side, man. And he he had, he earned the right. If anybody had the right to say anything, it was yeah. Yahweh Shai. Yeah. And they, they they would grab stones, man, yeah. and try to stone him. Try to you know, and he, and he had the power where he could have smoked, beat the shit out of all them niggas, but it wasn't his time. So he just dipped. So look, same thing. If, if motherfuckers come up against brothers. You know, like they were shooting at the brothers camp, at the brothers at the camp and all that the other day. You know what? The brothers took the dust on that place, man. That's right. You know, that's what Yahweh Shai said, man. And, and Apostle Tahar taught, taught, taught us that years ago, way back in the days, man. You know, shake the dust. That's why we don't, in, in Connecticut, we don't go, you know, there's other guys, whatever. We don't, because why? The spirit had to shake the dust. We ain't gonna go back to a place where we shook the dust and, and go down there. There's a reason. <laughs> it's condemned, 34th and 7th. Why you think the spirit ain't getting on Apostle Tahar? And none of the, uh, you know, the elders or whatever say, hey, we got to go camp down there. Why? That place is done. It's, it's, it's finished. I was there recently, bro, and the spirit has been sucked out of that place, man. Yeah. Actually stood yeah. up where the camp was at. Like, people got over the camp. Yeah. And that place ain't, it ain't got, bro, it ain't, it ain't right. Yeah, it ain't right. It ain't, it ain't. Remember, it ain't remember, remember the guys with the peanuts and shit? They don't want to be out there no more. Yeah. That place is done, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Quick precept for you. This is Romans 12 and 19. Oh, I'm more yeah. Dearly yeah. beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Right, and that's, okay. that's about long suffering. And, and see, yep. and that shows us we're going to get paid back too, man. Yep. All right, because that's another thing that y'all got twisted. Like, here it is, we suffered all this shit. We've been beat down, fucked up by this goddamn devil, right? He done rape, rob, murder us, lynched us, uh, humiliate us to the yeah. max. Everything, the reason why you get woman is against you and shit because of the so-called white man. That's right. He snatched your woman up, man. That's right. He put he put the battery in her back to sit there and talk that shit. Yeah. Nigga, please call Tyrone. Right? Ain't nothing going on but the rent and all that. That's from the so-called white. He set these right. dumb silly bitches up. Going back to that Gardenian pack. 
like like the, the, the brother Shabazz disciple says, Gardinian. that Gardenian pact with Eve and, and the serpent. You see, yeah, right. so y'all y'all should be y'all yeah, should be irate. Right. Scripture say, a, a person making a wise man back. Yeah, right. You say you're right. independent, but your power is fight back financially by the so-called white man. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, right. Really, right. so really, so really, you're not independent. No. Yeah. Yes. You're running off of his power. Watch, yep. right, watch when society breaks down. Because society's about to break down real soon, all right? Watch when there's no no 911 you can call, all right? You're going to see how independent you are in those days, all right? Yeah. Hey, hey, they're talking about, they're talking about at, at any moment the lights can go out in this case. Yeah. Right, they, right, they, right. Like, some, some could happen. They're talking about a cyber attack or anything. Let the lights go out in this motherfucker. It don't take much. I we went, they had a little they had a little prelude to that years and years ago. Why does that go crazy because you know? they can't get to your phone or social media? They yeah. don't go crazy. Y'all yeah, remember <laughs> going back 2003, 20, 21 years ago, when they shut the lights off. In New York? Just for four days. It was like three, four days. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you saw how bugged out they got for them a couple of days? Yeah, it, it almost crippled this, the city. It did. I mean, yes. it yeah, it almost. People couldn't get home yeah, from the yeah, city because yeah, the trains yeah, couldn't yeah. run for their electric. Yeah. Yeah, remember that? Remember I came? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, remember all the traffic lights were all yeah, off and people were bugging out. They couldn't yeah. drive across yeah. intersections. Yeah. Where was it? Remember you had caught me from work that time? You couldn't get you. Remember the lights went out. It was a blackout. Years, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Back, back in 2003. Yeah, but uh, yeah. That, that's over 20 years ago. Yeah, right, time right. yeah, but the point of the matter, and then check this out. Certain brothers' houses, lights didn't go out. Yeah, because yeah, right. yeah, I remember Tyler, I caught Tyler, Tyler had lights. Oh, that's another thing. We had home phones, so there was no cell phone going out. Right. Cause we were still able to call brothers, see yeah, brothers was all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And most of the brothers had their lights still, but everybody in the neighborhood was dark. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, said, yeah, that's spiritual, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's spiritual. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no matter what, how about you outside got us, man. Yeah. Cause when the lights go out, brothers, men of the Lord, we, are we reading the scripture right now? Yeah. We gonna, the Lord will have to where we laughing while they're out there mourning, man. Yeah, well, that's yeah, called faith. Then you have about sitting outside. So like, no, no, people gonna be hitting screens out here tonight. Ah! Well, we were yeah, yeah. like, yeah, like, 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 like East. C19 was a good um, test word. That, that, that's yeah. another one. It was cool. Yeah. 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 We knew the spirit was going to go down. Yep. Yeah. 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 You got faith in it. Now there's no such thing as your stability. Right. It says, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. Uh huh. So yeah, talking about in the midst, in the midst of chaos, man. Yeah. How you able to be merry and dr get drunk? That's like when when, <laughs> when 9 11 happened, man. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. The whole world was, was crying. They were shocked. Shot. They were shocked. They shot. This means war. That's what this fucking white boy said on the job I was at. Niggas was like, oh my god, they was all freak. Us, we was all pumped, man. Man, but we so much the most I had to cool us the fuck out. Yeah, we yeah. wasn't that time, yeah. man. Yeah. You know, oh, so so. <laughs> So you gotta be of a, a, a special, you gotta be of a, a, a hell of a caliber while here this massive death is happening and you're rejoicing, right? But that's what the Lord said in, in, in the, the uh, in, was it John? He said, uh, your sorrow shall be turned into joy, joy, right? Your sorrow should be turned into joy because why? We're, we're sorrowful. When we see all this wickedness, Esau, it, 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 it seems like he's getting away with murder. We know he's not, but this shit is a vexation of our spirit. When we see these holes running these games, we see this, this damn devil dragging niggas through child support court, ruling, uh, 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 ruling fucked up on behalf of these fucking holes. That shit hurts. So when we see them get it, when we see people start dying because they're wicked, and we know that they, they uh, were supposed to die, that's rejoicing, that's uplifting because that lets us know that the Most High is dealing just like we read out of the scriptures, man. Go ahead, my brother. Listen, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. And have abundance because why? The Lord said, my servants shall eat. Okay. Here it is, we in the midst of famines and everything. All right? And that's what, that's in Job, the fifth chapter, when you read down, it tells you about that. And you see it because why? The first of all, the so-called white man's a goddamn devil. So he's trying to, which the Lord got him doing that pushing a, a, a famine, all right? So that way you'll sit there and, and take, they're doing everything with the, what they call it, the, uh, uh, the Galean dialectics. dialectics, which is pressure from above, pressure from beneath, right? He's doing all these, say it again? The squeeze. The squeeze, he put the squeeze on people on every level. And what, what do people love more than anything? Fucking eating, man. <laughs> well, that's why I make, make that, oh. Go on. Yeah, take it as a spirit. No, 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 no. no. You, you say the same thing. You say it. You say it. No, you say it. No, they're bugging out because uh, the price of fast food is sky high. Yeah. And who's the main one crying? These people on the side. On the side, man. 
You know, and, 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 and I think a, yeah, I think a, a few McDonald's shut down or something. They had a problem. Yo. Man, they said well, they said they said they said Connecticut had the highest That's Big you know. Mac. It was eighteen dollars found on the highway. Yes, yeah. <laughs> a goddamn Big Mac, Mac meal to die. Uh, yep. A crown royal to die. <laughs> it says the heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be but they shall be able to do nothing. Right, get it. It. And we ain't gonna worry about it. That's why you, you fucking you stinking ass East Indians, man. You goddamn packy bastards, man. You even might be some shits. That's not personal. You, it's, yeah, it's very personal, man. That's right. It's very, because the scriptures tell you that they lick the yep. swords when you read about Lazarus and the rich man. That's right. So it's very personal with all you fucking heathens, man. And you ain't gonna be able to do nothing. You're gonna find out who the real people of the Lord are, man. You're gonna find out that Allah didn't exist, man. That's right. All right? The most high is gonna crush your whole Allah dreams, man. They worship cows, don't they? They worship everyone. They worship, they worship yeah, shit. Yeah, they yeah a lot of you hairy Krishna, you they fucking uh, Paki bastards, you fucking, yeah, well, uh, Shiite, yeah. Hissite, you shitite. Yeah. Even like somehow they don't, they believe in reincarnation, but they think they can come back as a cow or something. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like, yeah, yeah, that's what it'll be. Uh, butterfly. Yeah, who's that fucking dude? The Dali Mamba? Dolly Mama, whatever the fuck yeah, that nigga Dolly Robert. Yeah. Dolly Ru yeah, that clown. <laughs> hey, the Mo Mosai, y'all ain't gonna be able to do a goddamn thing, man. And then you fucking nasty ass goop selling mop water soup. Man. <laughs> right? Y'all ain't gonna be able to do shit either. Yeah. yeah. And, and you, man, the Mosai gonna get all you naces, man. And you, you fucking proud goddamn Arabs too, you Ishmaelites, man. Running all these goddamn gas stations with these Elamites, man. You ain't gonna be able to do nothing. Je Look, we gonna, we gonna, like the scriptures say, we borrowed upon the Egyptians. We gonna borrow upon you fucking heathens, man. Right. When the Lord raises us up, man, that's gonna be it, man. That's right. And Esau, no, that's why he, he, he's being very cautious, man. But the Most High is gonna force this devil right into, the, the march right into the, to his own destruction, man. That's right. And that's what's right. happening. The Most High is raising all people up. The, the Israelites, man. The 12 tribes, man. That's why this sign is here, man. The Lord said that we were supposed to have this sign up here, man. You know? Right. You simple ass niggas up there. This is for your benefit, you fucking dumb niggas, man. You backwards ass. That's why you're going to get rolled over too, man. That's right. Because you two thirds niggas, man. You wicked ass niggas, man. That's right. You ain't going to go and attack and shoot at no goddamn KKK rally, is you? But prophets, men of the Lord, you'll sit there and try that shit, man. The angels got you marked. That's right. That's right. Hey, right, there's a, there's a thing on YouTube where they got the KKK rally and the Bloods and Crips are supposed to come. Them niggas backed out. Yeah, look at that. They backed out, talking all kind of shit. Google it. It's mm. right on fucking yeah. right on YouTube. Came out about five, six, seven years ago when they had a, a big rally hey. and they're like, "What you gang gang is? We gotta go there and this and that." Them niggas. Ain't yeah, hey, hey, let me tell you. Let me tell you, you this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me tell you this. All right, the Esau is, is is a carnal motherfucker. All right, what was his blessing? The sword, sword. You got a lot of these militias that at the most sign with you, you ain't gonna stand a chance against them, man. All right, they not gonna play with you niggas, man. You got a lot of these, some of them ex-military. Yeah. Like, you know, like the one dude, the, the, the uh, light-skinned dude, I think he got shot and went to jail. Oh, Jam Master J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jam Master J. Oh, yeah, not for, yeah. Man, man listen, and, and which, I, I, you know, he, he, I believe he was, Agent, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we can't fight this man carnally, man. We can't. We need the Lord to protect us from this devil. We need help from on high, because this is that was his blessing, man. All right. And the scriptures, the Most High wants us to call on Him first and foremost. And then the scriptures tell you that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, all right, but spiritual. This is a spiritual war. You got to the spiritual war is the greatest war, man. Okay. So if you're able to win the spiritual war, you'll win the physical war. That's right. All right, but Esau, he's carnal. He doesn't know about being spiritual, man. And, and trust me, they, they've been training. You got Edomites that grow up at, at the age of fucking four or five years old, six years old, know how to shoot, blocking right. the, the fucking uh, uh, handguns. Oh, no, Some good. of them rifles. All right, yeah. trust me, man. We, we know, we saw, we, the, the spirit, see, the Lord be having us work on different jobs. We come across all kind of different motherfuckers, man. You see? These motherfuckers got shooting ranges in their house. Yeah. yeah. Soundproof shooting yeah. ranges in their house where it doesn't make that's, noise outside. And that's nothing yeah. for them. They, they, yeah. man, they, they, look, man, yeah. you niggas, you better, you gonna wish, you gonna be praying the most I be with you. So y'all ain't listening to us now, man. 
Y'all talking shit, making excuses, man. Well, go ahead. Guess what? The Lord, Lord said you're going to mock when your fear and calamity comes, man. All right? It's only about the If you're not of the elect, then basically the hell with you. If you don't, if you got a problem with the Mosai, your Hawabash and your Hawashai, the hell with you, man. All right? We, look, you got, we'll see you next lifetime like the, the, the Eric Badu song. That's right. Guess we'll see you next. Because you ain't going to make it out of this lifetime, man. That's right. All right, then you'll come back as a, a, a child in the kingdom, man. A baby, you have to be be baby babyfied, man. You have to be brought back as a baby, man. Yeah, look at that baby Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the book yeah, I was trying to prophesy that. He said, listen, right. no man can receive the kingdom unless they be born again. Right. So either you'll be born again by the renewing of your mind if you put it right on this right. side, or you're gonna come back in the kingdom and be renewed in your mind when you're reincarnated. And, and, There's no in between. And you're gonna hate, you're gonna you're gonna be ashamed. See, right now, y'all all tough, high and mighty, fuck the Israelite. You know all y'all niggas out there? I see them, fuck. You know, y'all talking all that dumb shit, right? You might have a simple nigga out there, all these celebrities, these UFC fighters, Mike Tyson and all this, right? Y'all sit there, man, fuck them guys, man, fuck them. Right? But guess what? The Most High gonna get at you, man. And when the Lord humble you, you're gonna be ashamed, man. You're gonna be ashamed for coming against the Most High. You how about some y'all shot? Yep, all right, like Mike Tyson, the spirit guy, get out, looking all that toad ass and shit that you do, whatever drug, looking the toad or whatever you call that shit, all the, the acid tripping that you niggas been being on, doing all these drugs, these high powered drugs, you're going to be ashamed of your doings, all you guys that, look, I do what I want to do, I'm my own lord, I'm my own boy, you're going to be ashamed of that thinking, man, and you're going to find out, yeah, knowledge yourself, you're going to find out that that's not going to profit you when the shit go down, man, you see? Yes, sir. This is Jeremiah 2, uh, I started at 29. It says, Wherefore will ye plead with me? It says, Ye all have transgressed against me, save the yeah, Lord. Yeah, and, and the most high, like, how the hell are you pleading at me? Because yeah. Jake actually sit there and, and, and play the victim towards the most high. Well, you're the one that went after all these other gods, man. And did all this fucking wickedness, but you're going to play the victim, man. Right? Ye all have transgressed against me. All you niggas went off, man. Same. Niggas in and shit. Again, I'm thinking of Mike Tyson right now, man. And again, what shit as a fight, we we love love Mike, Mike is a love but, but fuck that, man. Fuck that. That nah. nigga's wicked as hell. He's not in the truth. He's not in the truth. And he did this wickedness. And he's an example because you niggas praise these niggas, these athletes, these uh actors and stuff. And they're abominations and they teach you how to transgress, man. Yeah. All right? Yeah, yeah rappers, man. Yeah. Niggas up there to what, what, what's, what's so uh, uh, good about Diddy? No, well, he got a center for the youth. Yeah, for what? To teach him how to fucking rape each other? Huh? To teach him how to fucking uh, disobey the most side? To, to teach him how to go to the fucking, uh, it's raining men uh, events in the goddamn desert? Ain't nothing good about these niggas, man. Even when they so-called doing good, it's not good in the eyes of the most side. They're not teaching them about the Lord. They're not teaching them the truth. They're not telling them what they're doing that's wrong. You see? But our people, they sit there and, and they worship these other goddamn uh, 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 philosophies, man. You know? Go ahead. It says, uh, ye all have transgressed against me, save the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. In vain have I smitten your children. Right. And, and the thing is, you think the most I, you, you know, your, your kids are dying in the streets. You figured that would have woke you up. Right? But nah, that don't wake you up. That just make you niggas become even more niggas. All right? Because you niggas are just destined to die, man. All right? You, you got the white man's... <coughs> you got the white man's uh, philosophy all embedded in you, man. You got you branded with the, with the 666, so to speak, man. Here it is. You got niggas like look, the gang culture and everything, especially heavy right now at this point in Chicago. You figure that, you know, once the, the, one mother loses, one kid, and I think it was two mothers whose sons got shot up and they were doing a rally and niggas shot that shit up. Something to that effect, right? And you would figure that niggas would wake up and, and, and sit there, we're killing each other, we gotta stop the violence. Right, how many stop the violence movements have they had, man? Before we were born, right? Then they started with the music. We all in the same game. Uh, uh, Self-destruction. Hell, we are the world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that ain't change a motherfucking thing, man. So the Lord said, damn, he, I, I'm, the most I did that. That's his job. He's telling you. He said, I slain you. Read me that again. But Papa says, in vain have I smitten your children. In vain have I smitten your children. 
But when we went in slavery, when the fucking white man was taking your, your, uh, your wife from you, come here, bitch boy, don't you move. They put the gun on you and take her into the fucking, the, the back, the barn, the shed, and fucking stroke her, poke her, and she come all fucked up with, you know, then throw her back to you. What you think that was for, man? When you sit there and took your, your daughters, put them, and your sons, put them on auction and blocks. What do you think that was for? That was for you to realize and turn back to the most side. Every time you see these niggas, because the most side is the one that allows that death to come. When you see your son get killed, little babies getting shot, that's supposed to make you go and cry out to the most high and return. So the Lord says like there, I, I should have just killed all you motherfuckers, man. Why should I speak more? That's the spirit. Yeah. It says they have received no correction. See? Y'all still ain't get corrected. You niggas are still getting tattoos on your face. You niggas are becoming bigger faggots than you were. Every nigga want to wear fingernail polish and shit that's pertaining to a woman. You niggas are worshiping more of these false gods, right? So the Lord's like, look, why, why the fuck am I still? You, you ain't received the correction. You missed the message, man. Yeah, remember, they even turned Obama to a guy. Him and um, Michelle. Yeah, Michael. Yeah, Michael, yeah. yeah. Michael. <laughs> What they say about Michael? <laughs> Send a message to Michael. Yeah. So say she might be gay. <laughs> Joan Rivers. <laughs> Joan Rivers told you. Yeah. It says your own sword hath devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. Your own sword. The other week they were shooting at the, the apostle and, and the brothers out there in Indianapolis. The Lord said your own sword. Here it is, your razor sword up to a brother, especially a pro prophet, because you don't like the word that we're teaching. But here it is, you got all these your enemies. Right, the one that over there about to kick you out of your house as the cause of your homelessness and all this other thing that put your grandmother, that, that, that slayed your grandmother, shot your grandmother in the street. You ain't gonna pull your sword against them. You ain't gonna pull your sword. Like, I didn't see the, the, the clip the, the bishop is talking about, all right? But I know he ain't, I know he ain't making that up. Y'all ain't, ain't even show up. But you'll put, the Lord said, your own sword. That's why Yahweh Shai said, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou which killest thou thy prophets. And don't you fucking idiots know that the prophets were sent here for your own good? Well, right? We're sitting here to, to, to teach you the greatness that's for you, man. The truth. All right? To let you know what's really going on, man. But y'all don't want it. Y'all refuse it. Y'all get offended. But that's okay because guess what? Your blood is off our hands, man. Right? It says, O generation, see ye the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Yeah. Go ahead, say that, say, read that again. It says, O generation, see ye the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And we, we've been trying to plead with you, right? What Yahweh Shai said, it's like the children, uh, said, said, we have piped and danced. We piped and you, and you haven't danced. danced. Yeah. Like children calling out to their fellows at the marketplace. Mm -hmm. All right, we've been calling you, calling you out. Trying to, look, come, come, get, come get back into the truth. Okay, come, come clean yourself up. Repent. Come back and, and learn about your power. But you don't want that, man. Go ahead. Yeah, this is the point. It says, um, it says, um, so like, yeah. have I been a wilderness unto Israel? Meaning, meaning the Lord has his prophets out here. There's no excuse, there's no cloak for your sin. So the Lord has been uh, uh, reachable. He's been attainable for, for you to, to come to him, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Lord, and, and what did we have that we didn't, that we, we never wanted for nothing? That was the problem. The Israelites was all the Lord took he took care of us, man. But you always want to whore after the, the gods of the other nations. You see? Go ahead. It says, Have I been a wilderness unto Israel, a land of darkness? Wherefore, say my people, we are lords. We will come no more unto thee. Right. That, that, that's, that's the attitude they right? got. And, and these niggas actually say, I what was the saying? I myself, Lord and Master. Yep. Right? I self, Lord and Master. That's what they, they say they self. I'm a Lord. I'm a God. I'm not gonna I don't follow that. I don't follow the book. I'm a I'm above that. You know what y'all talking about, man. I'm I'm God, right? That's you what these niggas say. The from, right? from. They get that from yeah. Alistair Crawford's Yeah. yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Alistair get that from. Yeah, which is a witchcraft mentality. Yeah. And that's what they say. And, and that's why they don't want to hear the word of the most high. Yeah. You know? But that's all right, cause the most high gonna you're gonna destroy two thirds of our people, man. Yeah. Right, turn away from the Holy One. They don't want us to, to keep pushing his name. Basically, you niggas are worse than Esau. You're worse than the devil. You're worse than the goddamn devil. devil. Mm -hmm. That's right. Job, That's right. 
That's an A-plus. Anybody yeah. yeah. hey, got anything else? Or? You want to go end it up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is about now. You ready to close? Yeah. You got to no, close it? Yeah, we chose five. Oh, well, you can read that at home at Jeremiah. You can read Jeremiah 18 and 18 down. Okay. This is Job 5 and 18. Okay. Yep. It says, For he make his sword, I read it. It said, For behold, is happy the man whom the most high corrected. Therefore, despise not the chastity. And guess what? We had to be corrected too. We had it, you know, we, that's why through the spirit and power, Yahweh, by the outside, we come out here. We was walking in the course of this world, like the scriptures say, man. We didn't, we didn't know. Right. But thank Yahweh, by the outside, for calling us and, and allowing us to take heed. Now, our thing is to make sure that we remain and endure to the end, right. right? As the scriptures say, that's what we're doing, all right? Get diligence, that calling. Election, sure. And, and, and man, this truth, man, this is the greatest thing ever in the universe, man. Hands down. For he make his sword and bind it up. He wounded. Right, he make him sore. And look, the most I jacked us all up as a nation. Alright? You know how you know how fucked up that is that we ain't our women is against us? Alright? The white man got our woman. Fuck Jody. Jody got your girl. No, the white the, the, the white man got your girl, man. Esau got your girl, man. And and remember the woman. I mean, yeah, we get down on these women or whatever as we're supposed to, according to the scriptures. But at the end of the day, the women are our glory. All right, that's you know, and there ain't no um, ain't, besides the truth. The next best pleasure is what having sex with a woman, right. right? The pleasures that come with being with a woman when it's that time for that. When it's time to knock the boots and all that, right? Okay, but so not having that that hurts. So it said, what he had made a sword, but he will bind us up. So now the Lord is healing us and putting us, because we always walk, we always gone, man. We was, that's why we know about what we're talking about. We always fucking Easter egg hunting and shit. Halloween bobbling for apples and shit. Yeah. Doing, yeah. Oh, Christmas. <coughs> Open up your damn gifts. Yes. <laughs> yeah, crying. Yeah, yeah, being a goddamn crying. Hey, 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 Get the Transformers, G.I. Joe. <laughs> hey, man, hey, 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 fucked up, man. That, that shit right there, that shit fucked up. <laughs> other than having you worshiping other guys, that shit also teach you how to be an ungrateful little bastard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you, you got certain gifts like that. You got me. I'm grateful. Yeah. It said, for he make his sword, find it up. He wounded and his hand make hold. Yeah, but see, the, hey, the Lord is able to fix us up. That's what's happening, all yeah. right? And, yeah, spiritually, the Lord is it's healing us, man. Now we're, we're coming back and connecting back with the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, remembering who we are, coming back to our heritage, right? The Lord is increasing our mind. It's opening up our pineal gland, you know? We're worshiping our high holy days once again. As best as we can. We're just the, the high holy days coming up next yep. week, Passover. Yep, and yep. You know, that links up to Hosea. Fifth, going into the sixth chapter, the Lord yep. says, "Shall turn us back until we acknowledge our sins." And they say, "Well, heal us up." You yep, know? On the third day. Yep. Go. Yep. It said, "For he make his sword and bind it up; he wounded that his hand make it whole. He shall deliver thee in six trouble. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee." Yeah, and that's the destruction. The seven going with the seven trumpets, the seven plagues. All right, which is the seven trump is the nuclear destruction. That's so it. we're right in the yep. middle of the six going into the seven. Once the seventh happens, that means the missiles are uh, 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 shot off. Yeah. That means the chariots of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, with Yahweh Shai being in the greatest chariot, that means they're going to be here destroying, shooting lasers, right? Not a movie. Yeah, oh, that's heavy. Four, 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 four. Yep. All right? So that means, it, like Yahweh Shai said, it is done yeah, at that point. Yep, it says the voice of heaven is finished. It's finished. Well, yep. yep, it says, in famine he shall redeem thee from death. In famine, meaning when the food shortage, when the food, when there's no food to eat, it said he shall redeem thee from death. So the Lord is going to take care of us. It said he shall have what abundantly, yep. plenteously, yep. right, man? Yep. In war from the power of the sword. In war, are we not in the time of war? <laughs> we, we, World War, World War Three. Yeah. All right, civil war. Civil they war. got a, they, they got that movie coming out. I think right still, right? On the twenty fourth. Twenty fourth, right? Yeah. So we, we still, come on. 24th to 18th. 
That open. shall be hid. From, yep. Yep. Check that out. Yeah. Abaratizah. Yeah, if, if, if the yep. civil war ain't already had to intensify. Yeah. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall that be. Right, see, because the, the Lord is going to protect us, man, like he did his holy prophets, man. Right. Yeah, remember, during, right before Carl, man, that, that damn pandemic came in, remember, they was coming, they set eyes on us right from there, from the new Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were all, remember, yeah, every news channel, who are these Israelites? Who are these Israelites? Making us try to make us public enemy number yeah. one. Yep. And then the spirit had it where it ain't time for that yet. It had y'all damn pandemic come. It said, Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of the destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Come Neither on. shall thou be afraid of the that's, peace that's of the That's power, man. Woo! In the middle, again, in the middle of destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Most people be fucking crying and scared. You know? Especially these women. These women, they, they, it don't take much, man. You know? <laughs> What's that? In the book oh, of Luke 21? Oh. Oh, you know I'm going. Are you already laughing? No, okay. hey, remember, hey, remember on the news um, this yeah, week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear about the um the Hispanic dude and the black dude got in the fight in the subway? Yeah, yeah, oh, oh yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But what that was that bitch? Who shot? Who shot to? But well, the dude out, the, the, the Jake or the black dude was trying to shoot the Spanish guy. Cause the Jake that was beat. Cause the one dude was he was beating him, him. But the dude and then he shot him too. Him. No, the dude got up and took the gun from him. He tried to shoot him, and he shot him instead. Oh, the Spanish dude took the gun from the Jake and he shot him. It just started because he said. He was a migrant, he was a fucking migrant, mother. But I guess the, the Spanish dude wasn't even a migrant. He was like a regular oh, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. That's the media, yeah. they're pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so the dude had demons on him. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. 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 That's the media. That's the media. That's the media. So, uh, oh, so, he, oh, hey, so hey, basically, hey, hey, well, the most side was with him then. Right, I brought that shit up because mm -hmm. that one bitch that didn't. Let me out! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me out! This is a fucking crackhead, too, dude. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. That's Storm. That was Storm. <laughs> that was something from the storm. That was funny. The storm drains. Hey, no, 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 that shit from up. That was storm. Hey, um, hey, hey, then they showed the camera and said, hey. And then he came on there and he jumped the turnstile. Oh, yeah. Who, who oh, jumped? Which one? Which one? The, the black dude. Oh, so, so he jumped the turnstile. Yeah, so but he had a gun on the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, but, yeah, so he got smoked with his own. Yeah, the dude took it from the shot. Because he said, he said, pop, 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 pop. He watched the whole thing. He was fighting. He said, yo, you stabbed me. Stab no, the bitch, the bitch stabbed him. But saying, yeah. Yeah, yeah, what bitch stabbed him? The Spanish dude had a yes. bitch with him. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, so they said yeah. in the news, they said they're looking for a woman of interest. That's her. Oh. But anyway, so he's bleeding. He's, he's, man, he's a fuck that shit. Y'all stab it. He grabbed his pistol. Right. He, we got the, they got the whole video out yeah, there. Yeah, I, I, I didn't see that. They wouldn't yeah. show that part. But yeah, no, yeah, yeah, so the bitch got the pistol. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you, uh, he got a pistol. That's when you see people all duck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, the yeah, nigga got oh, nigga, the nigga, the, 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 the UFC just took the nigga shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 They would've, well, hey, the most time, the Lord was one of my guests, you know. So it says, thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Mm. Now look in Compton, homeboy is raising 13 um, pit bulls, oh, and yeah, his own yeah, dogs yeah, yeah. turned on them and mauled them. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And bees like that. Yep. For thou shalt be in the league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field should be at peace with thee. But the, yeah, with the men of the Lord. Yep. How about you? How about you? Or the, me and he read my mother's first. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep, yep. Because, yep. uh, yeah. So this is uh, back in um, second Ezra 2, <laughs> not in 28. It says, the heathen shall. <laughs> it says, the heathen <laughs> shall envy thee, but they shall. They shall be able to do nothing you know, fucking heathens, against man. thee, save the Lord. And they go, Esau too. Esau, they gonna be able to touch us, man, in that time. And you fucking Hamites? And you fucking Hamites? Hey, they probably want to touch us now, but can't, they, they can't. can't, can't, can't the Lord, the Lord keeping them up. They can't, can't touch. Bro, when we was in LA, we got surrounded by the police. Like, we thought they was gonna roll on us. But you know, eventually they got called off. You know, they, 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 you can tell they want, they want to, yeah. they want to mess us not, up. They're not going to be able to. Yeah. They're not test, man. They're not test, we, man. That's right. They're not test, we. Y'all watch me outside with us. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. They have testimony yeah, yeah. to that. Yeah. It's their legacy. Hey, man, Brother, how about you now outside, man? Hey, the scriptures say the angels of the Lord are camping around about them that fear. That's why the name of the Most High, your how about you now outside, is very important, man. Don't listen to these these clowns, man, these hirelings, man. Well, who gives the final order for the angels to protect you? Yep. The Heavenly Father. And your how about say, whoever confess me before men, I shall confess before the Father. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Verse 29, it says, 
my hand shall cover thee so that so that it says so that thy children shall not see help mm. yep. see, yeah, 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 see <laughs> death man right. yep. hey, right. hey, hey so with that you don't be on call it there unless there's anything else any brothers want to bring out you know if, yeah. if not then we're going to close it there Hope the brothers are edified. We're going to say, Kyle, Hala, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, 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 Hashem,